All right. Let's check now. Hopefully, we are fishy lives going on, guys. Fight night live. Fight night live. We in the building, y'all. How y'all doing today? You What's know? going on? It's about that time, y'all. Oh yeah, we live. We live. All right, I'm still working on some graphics over here. What graphics you working on? For uh, this this joint right here. For, uh, for this. Shit joint. is right now. This is the remix. What's going on, world? You know, it's bring your own stream. We got kicked last time. We got kicked off for showing some of the fights, so we will not be making the same mistake twice. Right. <laughs> we will not be making the same. It's already mistake been twice. two knockouts in the first two fights. Yes, sir. Tonight, baby. So, um, if y'all want to rock out with us, y'all already know. Feel free for sure. We're gonna have a good time. For those of you who do not remember last week when we watched the uh, tank versus uh, 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 who you fought? Who you fought? Matter of fact, let's just roll the tape. Tank versus somebody. Somebody got their head knocked off. Yo, your boy. Oh, oh my god! Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, oh shit. Oh, that was a nice yeah. <laughs> Put that boy on his behind. He's still down. He's still, oh my God. That shit was quick and That's that's knockout of the year. So y'all already know. You know what I mean? We had fun last week. We back again. Loyal to my craft. You feel me saying? We got oh, yeah. some giveaways going away. We got some giveaways. Let me announce that. Um, we have, once again, Boxing Loves. We have Red Moon Apparel, one of our sponsors. We have Cashflow is King, another one of our sponsors. And, of course, we have Loyal, uh, Loyal to Your Craft, another one of our sponsors. And we're doing a T-shirt giveaway. All you have to do is go to the website. Tell us who's going to win the fight. Is it going to win by knockout? Are they going to win by decision? Are they going to win by draw? For the Devin Haney versus Gamboa fight, go to the website, thriverfry.com slash fight night, and you'll get a chance to win that. And we're also giving away a free right. website. So if you have a business, if you have a brand, if you have a business or if you have a brand, uh, you'll be, be able to also win a free website. So once again, go to the website, thriverfry.com. Matter of fact, I'm going to hook you up with some sauce and just walk y'all through to show y'all what y'all got to do. And then y'all can get locked in with us. Um, whoever wins, stay to the end of the show. If you win, we'll announce the winner. Last week, we did not have a, not, we did not find a winner. Um, someone did say someone was going to win in the sixth round by knockout. But they said Leo was going to uh, knock out Tank in the sixth round. So they Ooh. lost as we all know, Tank knocked out Leo in the sixth round, so we're still looking for a winner. But let me bring up this screen so you guys can see how to get acclimated. Okay, once again, this is thriversrod.com slash fight night. This is where you register. You want to come here and you're going to pick who do you want to win, Devin Haney or, or Gamboa? How are they going to win? Is it going to be a knockout? Is it going to be a decision? Is it going to be a draw? And what round can you call the round? Can you really get it? If you do, you're going to win over $3,000 in prizes. Make sure if you want to get your cell notification, put your cell phone number, but it's not necessary. So once again, let's, over, let's head over to thriversrod.com slash fight night. You see all of our sponsors right here. Thank you guys. Everybody's a part of the show. And once again, I'm Ra. I mean, I'm Rob. Look, I'm about to take your identity. I'm Ra Thriver. You know what I mean? Because it's all about thriving. I'll let my guests introduce themselves and let's go. Oh, well, you know, I always talk a lot, so I guess I'll go next. It's your boy Rob Icon Thrive in the building. Thriver Boys is definitely in the building. RMA Red Moon Power also. QMG Quiet Money Game. We're definitely in the building. <laughs> yes, Jared, let him know how you feel, Jared. Jared, go ahead. Yeah, I'm in the place. I got a uh, loyal to my craft. That's my trademark brand. Thank you, thank you. Yep. So I've been a, a retired fighter. Twenty fights, seventeen and three is my professional record. Look me up. Also got a brand, uh, Secret Boxing. Looking to jump on YouTube shortly. That part. Yes, yes, yes. So once again, just to show, if you guys don't know, let's get it. Sacred Boxing.
just so y'all know the hands is real we also forgot to get whoever wins you get you get a 30 minute virtual session with jared if you're local you get to do it in person so once again a lot of give good a lot of good giveaways and that's what we're doing i'm still working on some stuff on my side to try to get our graphic and design um going on so i'm gonna be working on that and uh right here man we just waiting for the fight to start like you guys um, we're gonna probably comment on some of the uh, the prelim fights of course but um we're gonna rock out we appreciate you oh, november 27th we got daniel jacob fights the miracle man is coming yo back. De december 5th i just seen that uh ryan garcia oh. fights november's gonna be lit it's a nice a bunch of good fights. who uh who he fight who uh jacob's fight um damn i just seen it too they just moved it i gotta check let me check my stuff good if anybody know in the comments, you know, definitely let us know. Let us know that you're out there. Where y'all from? You know what I mean? Where everybody watching from? We'll shout you guys out. Oh, okay, bro. Where y'all from? Oh, I got to put some pizza in the oven. All right. All right. So what do you guys think? Listen, call it on. Go to the website. You know what I mean? Let me let me let, let me put please it up for do, you guys. Please do. We in the air, man. Bravo Boys is definitely in the building, y'all. Let us know who's going to win. <laughs> Having little broadcast issues right now with my pre <laughs> fights. All right, here we go. Oh, he's fighting Gabriel Rosado. Dang oh, word? Oh, that's going to be a goodie. Yeah, November 27th. What's going on, my brother? Listen, um, unfortunately, this stream is a, a bring your own stream because we did try to show a little bit last week. And we ended up getting, and they yeah, got and they shut us down. They what the heck, Jared? Make they shut us down, and we weren't able to uh, continue the show. So, um, unfortunately, you're gonna have to find your own stream. But if you want some funny commentary, you want to vibe with us. Um, once again, um, this was our reaction to the fight last week. Just to show you guys one more time how much fun we had. It was crazy. Oh, oh my God! So you guys see, we like have on this channel. You know, we have uh, a pinch. <laughs> I look like I saw a ghost. Yes, Yo, my that was the favorite part. Like 80 octaves, like I was a Ooh. fire yeah. <laughs> Right. <laughs> I'll just watch you guys. Hey, man, we definitely appreciate it. Definitely appreciate it. You said what happened? Um, Last week, uh, Santa Cruz versus uh, Tank. There was a disgusting knockout, and that was Ooh. our live reaction last night. Yeah. I mean, not, not last night, last week. Oh, oh my God. So you see, Jared had an exorcism. <laughs> Jared had an exorcism. Yeah. So hopefully we get some static like that tonight where we can get some good reactions out of us live. Yo, so once it again, like Jared got shot like he played in boys and they were like, Ricky. He was like, Yeah. 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 <laughs> 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 like, <laughs> Yo, I was so nervous. I was just hoping that he was looking at the fight and not like an intruder came in the house. <laughs> no, that'd have been. Oh my god! <laughs> I am, I am spiritually connected with this report here. Y'all have to excuse me. That that's a fact. Once you fell off that screen, I didn't know we was gonna get you back, man. <laughs> yeah, y'all gotta understand. Oh, he was like a knockout watching, already. Watching nah, not yet, man. Not yet. Fucking streaming networks and the shit is like lagging on one and catching up on the other. So I'm catching reflashes of the action Nick. back to back to back to back. <laughs> Nick, what's going on? Shout out to the Philippines. Shout out to the Philippines. What's going on? Oh, Nick? shout out to the Philippines. What's up, Nick? Shout Everybody out thought it was the fight. Man. Nah, guys, that was yeah, last sorry. year. <laughs> Uh, it was like, yo, it's over already. <laughs> <laughs> Look, one more time for the good time. One more time. One more time for your mind. 
Oh, oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> so y'all in the right spot. Y'all are in the right spot. Now, we're gonna cut to. You just gotta bring your own stream. Sit there and look bring your own at, stream. Like expressions to see what's going on in the fight. They gonna be like. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Like, what happened? What happened? That's better than no fight, though, right? Until until we get it up to where they're gonna they're gonna do a deal with us. They're gonna have to do a deal with us because they're gonna mm. go bring in all the energy. They gonna like the way you're thinking. Mark my words. Yeah. I'm saying it. Like I'm saying you think now. It. Like mm-hmm. like I'm gonna say some funny stuff right now that might stir up some stuff. Like they they still counting votes whether people know it or not, even though they elect. He's pro projected. Uh, they got got the wording. They gonna fuck around and do what he did like, um, the other four years ago, and they gonna sit there and burn New York City down. I'm glad. Oh yeah, man. That's why, that's why they nailed, that's why they nailed up the boards on the windows, and they got the sand. How do you know if, you, if you looking at this stuff and they saying, "Yo, Biden is doing it," and everybody's pro Biden? Why are you boarding up anything? Right. Oh yeah. Oh, uh, what's the emoji? Yeah. <laughs> right, <laughs> interesting. Right, so right. They, they was like, and with a landslide sweep. Hey man, listen, listen. Spread the hold, hold, hold. Like let this. me cut it. Let me cut it. Let me. Let's talk to the fans. Like, yo, get the channel to fifty subs. We are brand new, but we ain't brand new to the game. Like you guys already see. You know what I mean? We love boxing. Um, Jarris been doing it professionally. My brother's mm. been doing it. Icon. So you know, we love the game. We got hands. And listen, let's cut the commercial real quick, just to show you we not cut playing. The commercial. But once Don't again, move. you know, yeah. we're putting our, with our, with our, you know, uh, our mouth, the action is all lining up. And listen. Absolutely. Uh, we're giving away free my balls so tonight. Small. My hair's always so sore. They look like boxing gloves already. <laughs> <laughs> free I got gloves. My already. Thank you, Jay. <laughs> Go to the website, get registered. If you guys pick the correct winner, if you pick the correct winner, you have to pick decision, draw, or knockout. If you pick knockout, you got to pick the round that you pick. Whoever wins correctly is going to win. And that's to get everything. That's to get the whole package. Now, we might. I haven't even talked about it with my brethren, but we might be nice. And if you get close, we might give out one item. Like, I might give out a shirt. Yeah, cause listen, guys, it's my birthday tomorrow, so we're feeling exactly. generous. It's my birthday yeah. at twelve o'clock say, tonight. After party, birthday on Facebook Live at at twelve. We have an after the Facebook fight after party at twelve. That's what we're going to do. <laughs> <laughs> and so like I said, again, we'll be cool now, driver. But once twelve come, <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? Hey, listen, you go to Oregon, just have the time of your life. But once again, you know, appreciate that. Appreciate the Jared, some loyal to my craft. Uh, the link is in the description. Go ahead, grab you guys the merch. Grab you guys the link. Uh, go check out Sacred Boxing. Yes, we are working, man. We working. And you know, he's teaching how to make the hardest sport look easy, guys. He's making the hardest sport look easy. So, uh, appreciate everybody right. for tuning in. You know what I mean? And we here rocking with y'all. I'm still working on some graphics. Y'all see, I'm trying to get my trying to get my graphics right <laughs> the manny's the best listen manny is one of the goats all the way from the philippines nick from the philippines manny is oh, definitely yeah. one of the goats. Oh, yeah. no um loot uh uh loose loose love um if you go there her, let me let me go back to the website real quick um, it should yeah, say loose, loose. under round, it should say no whack, no knockout win by decision. So if you said decision, then just click no knockout win by decision under the round and it should, uh, you know, uh, populate for you. No, fight has not started yet. Fight has not started yet. Thrive time. You already know. Thrive time. That's that divine time. Once again, listen guys, tune in. You know what I mean? We are reacting live. If you guys were not here last week for last week's show versus Tank Davis, 
versus Santa Cruz. Uh, we have a live, live reaction. You know what I mean? And we'll play. This is from last week. This is not from tonight. Uh, we played it earlier. Some people thought that, you know, the knockout already had it. But, yes, the fight is not over. Fight is yet to come. But just to show you guys how much fun we had last week, you know, we're going to run it again. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! That that that's knockout of the year. <laughs> not gonna get so it. Listen, listen. Yeah, you guys like real. fun. You guys like authenticity. You like fun. Come rock out with us. You know, we're definitely gonna bring that energy. We're gonna have some fun while we on here. It's my birthday night, so I appreciate you right. guys for rocking with me. We on here with y'all. We celebrating. We loyal to our crafts. We got giveaways going on. Hit out the website so you can apply. And we gonna quiet, keep buddy. on rocking all night long. <laughs> man, <that> quiet money. <laughs> <laughs> so bring your own stream BYOS is that right yes. bring your own stream we tried to stream yeah, last week we got cut off we got banned so we learned our lesson you can't stream anything the AI is too smart you know, we streamed seconds. 46 seconds we only streamed a little bit and was cut off <laughs> we was cut off and people in the comments were like nah y'all can stream it they not gonna cut y'all off as soon as we did it they cut they our asses off they don't care they not gonna say nothing yeah right They streamed by ass right on the line. That's what they did. You know what I'm going to have to do for you guys, too, next time, is to get headphones so the feedback. Because I hear myself and I hear myself repeating through y'all screens at the same time. <laughs> uh, let's see what the world is saying. Happy birthday, brother. Hey, appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. T20, you already know. What's good, boy? We back again. You know what I mean? Happy G-Day. Salute. S salute, my king. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. All right, right now, who's fighting? Who's fighting right now? Got, um, Vargas and Zane. Oh, these are the heavyweights. Yeah, heavy yeah. the big boys. What y'all think it is? I don't know neither fighter, but if... if, I, don't, if I don't either. It's first like round, I'm looking, I'm looking at the... Uh, Zang looks dangerous. Zang looks like he's in control right. of the ring, the Dang. location. That's his name. They both look like two refrigerators. <laughs> yeah, Big Bang. I call I'm calling Big Bang in the uh I'm inside of Brown. Just looking at body work. I mean just looking at body language. Right. I'm still trying to mess with these graphics and make sure we cool. Yeah. Right. Devin, appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We rocking with y'all tonight. So y'all rock with us. We got giveaways. Can y'all hear feedback? Can y'all hear echoes? Y'all good with the audio? No, we good. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. All right. We, we have uh, five of my, my friends. Sup. Yo, my guy. Listen, we're going to have to do something for you. Now you got 32. My brother, appreciate you. Appreciate you. Listen, send an email. Hold on. I'm, I'm, I'm putting my email up here. All right. I'm putting my email up here. Because, listen, if y'all rock with us, we're going to rock with you. We're going to show y'all. You know what I mean? So, I'm going to give you something right, special. I'm not even going to announce it. Love to us, man. Uh, email me at ra at thrivewithra.com. I got something. I got something special. It's unannounced. Unannounced. Let me put that up. There we go. Email me. Email me. All right, I got something for you. Five of my friends, you showing love. We're going to show you some love. I'll be right back, fellas. All right, All right. Yeah, take your time. Yep, we match energy over here. Yes. So once again, go to Thrive with Rod, fightnight.com. We have, for someone who guesses uh, the correct winner of the fight, not only the correct winner of the fight, but you need the correct uh, round, knockout, decision, draw. Uh, we have one winner. We will be giving away a pair of boxing gloves. Um, Red Moon Apparel is one of our uh, sponsors. We'll be giving away a Red Moon Apparel shirt. Cash Flow is King, especially for all our entrepreneurs. We'll be giving away a Cash Flow is King shirt. And then Loyal to My Craft. We also will be giving away a Loyal to My Craft shirt. 
we got the brand on right now. Appreciate Jared for sponsoring the episode. Um, and sure. as well, another thing you're going to win, you're going to win 30 minutes of free virtual training by Jared. Jared's a professional boxer, decades and decades of experience in the game. He's going to train you virtually. If you're locally, you might even get to come through to the gym. But if you're not, don't worry. We got you cool. And also, we're going to help you build your brand. So if you have a, a idea or a concept, we're going to help you build a website. We're going to help you enter the marketplace so that you can start uh, uh, monetizing off this digital economy that we all find ourselves in. So... This is going to be our big winner. Uh, no one won last week, so mm -hmm. uh, we rolled it over to this week. Over. Yep, because um, it's, it's a lot of value, over $3,000 worth of prizes. Um, and we here. We here. Got you. Yes. Appreciate you, my guy. Appreciate you. Over $3,000. What the heck? <laughs> oh, who is this guy? Three comments. I got the non-visual ad libs. Right there. <laughs> you over there getting naked? What's happening? <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Appreciate you. Appreciate scrolling you. Scrolling offline. Scrolling offline, sir. Scrolling <laughs> My oven going off. Let me get my pizza real quick. Okay, listen. Get your food, man. We just warming up. The fight ain't start yet. So once again, guys, uh, we're going to cut to a quick commercial. This is from Red Moon, um, Icon Thrava. Uh, he has his brand. Let's get to it. Boy, we're all thriving in the building. Red Moon Apparel Shoot, you know what I'm saying? Manifesting something beautiful all the time. Thriving boys in the building. You already know, Dog Child Academy, we here. We got to you know what we do out here. It's Red Moon Apparel out here. We do different things. You feel me? <laughs> oh, yeah, you already know what it is, Red Hood. Red Moon Apparel, you feel me? Doing my damn thug business, you guys. You feel me? You feel me? Chinatown, regular Douglas shit. Shout out to Spray Ground, you feel me? You feel me? It was that shit. Shit, nice. Did you hear it? When I was four years old, when I was when I was to smell my aroma. Now, I done been a lot of places, I done seen a lot of things. From the cars to the jewels, I done spent a lot of change. If they wanna talk crime, dry snitching ain't my thing. I'm in the uplifting, my people call me a spring. And why I state of mind, you know that mellow vibe I bring. Anywhere I go, that's why I'm treated like a king. Yeah. Can you smell my aroma though? Control my surroundings, bad vibes. Let's go. That's Rob Icon Thriver. We appreciate you for sponsoring the episode with Red Moon Apparel. Once again, we'll be having our winners. You guys want to get connected, you want to get locked in, go to the website, get yourself registered so that we can get you right. And then once again, we got the virtual training by Mr. Jared Rock. Jared will be giving away free 30 minutes of training, professional fighter, professional training. You guys got to figure out who's going to win the fight. So go to fightnightlive.com, uh, I mean, Thrive with Ra dot com slash fight night live or click in the bio you'll be able to register and then you have to wait to end the fight let's see who wins let's see who's right you know what i mean last week we did not have a winner even though we got a amazing knockout and i know i keep playing it because i love it and it's hilarious but once again here's the knockout here's the reactions from last week's fight to let you guys know we'll be watching live so you get the live reactions you get the live energy you get the live raw emotions let's go this is from last week guys so once again you know what i mean we gonna yeah, be yeah. here share to my facebook thank you appreciate the love appreciate the love That part always scares oh, no. me, right? <laughs> it scares him too. Back real quick. <laughs> Send my shout out. Shout out to Loose Lou. That's a that's a childhood friend. That's much love. Thank you. She's sending me the messages as we speak. I appreciate the love. Love y'all, man. Appreciate it, man. Yes, yes. So all the. Uh, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not doing my job. Hold on. I got to get the graphics right. <laughs> I gotta get the I'll be back right. after these messages. <laughs> Cut the commercial. All right. There we go.
Register. All right, there we go. There we go. We getting it in. Rush to win over three thousand. So, Jared, what's going on in the world? I haven't even had the screen up to uh, the fight world. How, how we looking out there? I just put, put it back on. Um, Zang is looking like he's, uh, it's the third round. He's in the middle of the ring playing uh, King of the Hill right now, throwing those rocks down in the valley. Mm. Vargas is getting through a little bit, getting trying to take some ownership of that center, center the part of the ring, being slick. So, I guess we'll wait till uh, Rob gets back. When we do Rob, guys, we're, we're going to do predictions from the panel. We're going to see who everybody mm. up here thinks is going to win. We're going to do predictions like we did last week, but we'll wait till Rob gets back. Hmm. Zane is really dropping that left hand on this, on Vargas. Them boys is hitting that. His his back of his jersey say Big Bang. Ooh, yeah. them boys is hitting hard. You, you see where the, where the, uh, the Big Bang don't even look like it fit? It just looks like yeah. a, a, like a flag. Like a flag Big Bang. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, he's, he's digging it now. He's like... Uh, so, like so, so, Lucy, mess. Lucy said, she filled it out. She said, Devin, um, knockout round four. Wow. Mm. Okay. That's kind of, that's kind of, yeah, that's kind of, yeah. So that's I guess of. I'll start, I'll start, I'll start first. Um, okay. <sighs> I'll take Dev. I don't know what I said last time. I think I might have said five, but I'm gonna give I'm gonna put a little bit more respect on Gamboa's name. One one mm. for the old heads. One for the one time for the old heads. <laughs> so I'll say six. You know what mm. I mean? Devin, Devin within six. He stops him in six. I'm gonna say five. Go Devin ahead, Rob. Five. five. All right, Devin, five. Go ahead, Jared. Trace. Three, three, three. All right, so we got Devin in three. We got Devin in five, four. Six. We got Devin in five, and we got Devin in six. So we covered the first, the first couple rounds. Let me see if I can find somebody that's going to get take a Gamboa. Because <laughs> my other side want to say Gamboa by decision, but I know that's mm. not going to happen. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was about to say if you find somebody that's going for a Gamboa. Let's do a side bet. Link me with right. us. I can do a cash bet. On the side. <laughs> right. And I still double take on that. Like, ah. <laughs> so once again, family, you know, this is bring oh, your own. This is put that boy to sleep. But once again, family, mm. this is bring your own mm. stream. You know what I mean? Definitely bring your own stream. We tried to stream a little bit last week. We got cut out. We got banned. So now we back again. And yeah. you guys just enjoy the commentary. Enjoy the commentary. Yeah, they ain't put that. Lay down. Lay down. Just don't try to get up. Lay down. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Stay down. Stay still. I just turned around and he was on the. Floor. It was another knockout. Yeah. Yeah. Zane just hit him with that. Uh, I'm guessing it was a southpaw left. Happened. Did it happen for me yet? Is my shit just slow? What the heezy? I'm missing everything. They're gonna. They should show the uh, replay. Um. Carlone Bennett, no, unfortunately, we can't show the fight. We got banned last week just trying to show. We showed 46 seconds of it, and they banned us. So um, we learned our lesson. We cannot stream the fight. Um, we do not own the content, so we do not have the rights to it. But we can get on here and rock with y'all while y'all watch the fight, and we watch the fight together, you know what I mean? And we just have fun, guys. Let's rock out. Let's go. Now, being that we have a knockout, let's cut the commercial. Ooh, dude, I don't have a knockout. These guys are still following, but you know, I always love to get to a commercial. So 
once we again, guys, here. you can pick up these gloves. We got them. Hold on. Where my gloves at? Where my gloves at? We doing glove giveaways. We doing glove giveaways. All you mine. have to do. I gotta get mine. I gotta get mine. I'm wearing the natural yes, color version. These are the natural color version. This is what they look the natural like. color gloves. <laughs> Cause they're greedy. Yeah, man. Listen, content is king. Oh, now he laid out. Hold, on. I got the refreshment. I can't. I can't watch the fight like this. It's too slow. That's too slow. <laughs> he just got knocked out. I missed the whole fight. Yo, what's happening? Huh? Nah, they, they just about to raise their hands in the middle. Yeah. All right, yeah, I'm back. I'm back. I don't know where I was. <laughs> That's a fact. ZZL. You accidentally sent to the Matrix by mistake. What the hell? Yes, I did. What the heezy? So how you guys feeling tonight? Once again, appreciate everybody that's rocking with me. Tonight's my birthday night, so I appreciate y'all celebrating for me. Uh, I love boxing. It's a huge boxing enthusiast. And uh, this is just us just sharing, you know, what we do behind the scenes. We're just sharing with you guys. Uh, once again, Rod Thrava we have here. Uh, we have Rob Icon Thrava. We have Jared Robinson Boxing, professional boxer. So we here just to get busy with y'all. You feel me? That's right. I'm still looking for the replay. I gotta excuse me. I'm over here giving the stream sites to my people. You know what I'm saying? So they can watch the <laughs> You ain't doing nothing. You not doing nothing. <laughs> you ain't giving nobody nothing. <laughs> what is wrong with you? We live. The people's is watching. <laughs> uh, here's the replay. If you could. Oh, yeah. I see it. I see it. That's it. They banned me personally by myself for 46 seconds. Mmm, mmm. He hitting like George Foreman. Am I? Am, am I? Am I? Mm -hmm. You don't see yep. some George Foreman in there? Yeah, a little bit. Yep. Effortless. Yeah. Effortless punching. Trying to find, figure out what hand he he uh, put him down with. Woo! Oh my god! Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, that hook cross. Put him, yeah. He put that. He put that straight left on like a punching stance. Is that the size of his hand? ZZL, you know you got XXL. Y'all think that? Y'all really think that? Ortiz will kill Ruiz? 1400 Eduardo? Really? You think so? He might be accurate. Ortiz? Now, Big Poppy Ruiz? <laughs> Word? <laughs> Sheesh. Oh, Ortiz versus Big Poppy Ruiz? Uh, big, oh, wait, wait, wait. They say Ruiz will be Ortiz? He said kill. Either way. Hold on, he just said Ortiz will kill Ruiz. Yeah. I mean, Ortiz will kill Ruiz, yeah. Big Poppy Ortiz, right? That's his name, Ortiz. Ruiz is the dude that no. beat Joshua. Or, or, okay, or okay, I'm mixing him up. Or, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, my bad, my bad. Sorry, 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 sorry. sorry. Yes, Ortiz yeah, yeah. will kill Ruiz. I concur. Yeah. I concur. I concur. 35 subs, let's go. Let's go. On and counting. Okay, I got a couple of people. Where we at? Where we at? Oh, how we got what two more fights to the to, to, to the dead fight? Man, they're going by quick though. Yeah, yeah so everybody getting everybody stopped. Got, I, just like last week. Everybody got stopped last okay, week. Okay, you got Katie Taylor versus Miranda Gutierrez on the fourth. Oh, you got Ben versus Ooh, Bello we got a lot. Guys, we're gonna be going yeah, live. Anthony first, Joshua? Oh. What? Yo, fighting is in fighting. What did you say about Katie? Rob? He fights, I think, the 14th. Oh, Yo, okay. Haney's probably fighting, hopefully, within the hour. Still on um the pre the pre cards, but boxing is an amazing space. Boxing, like I was a little right. bit, you know, worried a couple years ago, but boxing is in an amazing space. How you guys feel about just, that? Yeah, just the weight class shifts. I mean, we we were looking at. I don't know what back then. I'm not sure what weight class we're looking at, but this weight class right now. The one that's popping, 135. Mm, yeah, that 135, 135. yeah. What's some that's of y'all favorite weight classes? Let me that, know. I give you that. However, if you look at all the weight classes in this genre, it's, every, it's a superstar now in every weight, every weight mm. class. Versus uh, the last couple of years, you just focus on middleweight, welterweight, or heavyweight. Now you have to look at every weight class, and you can get a good fight, a good championship fight. Yeah. 
Yeah, man. Boxing, boxing. Representative of each weight class, yeah. Okay, Ryan Garcia is still undefeated. Versus, all right, Luke Campbell is, all right. What is that? Chris Messi, light heavyweight ranking. Okay, Theo Fimo Lopez is 16 and 0. Ooh, this Martin division is. is 24 and 0. Oh, Pacheco is 14 and 2. Devin Haley is 24 and 0. Oh, he, he has the same um, record as Davis. Who loses they owe first? I, I. Out of all the top guys, like how we had when we had Earl, we had Sean Porter, we had Garcia, we had D Thurman, everybody had their O's. Right now, out of this, I, the, um, I, lightweights, I, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Out of the lightweights, out of the lightweights, undefeated. Think Garcia, Garcia will lose his O before Devin Haney or, or Javante Davis or Lopez, too. Or Lopez, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. I, think, I, think, I think Garcia will probably lose his O before all of them. Hmm. Hmm. That's that's just my take on it. If Hayden that's a hard take. So you got so 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 we said Devin out I, 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 of Dev Tank Ryan and 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 Lopez. Who to take out of those four? Who would take their O their their loss first? I think um, Garcia. Everybody saying Garcia. Everybody saying Garcia. Everybody. I agree. I agree. Got Cars Garcia, but Garcia in the fight. Still Garcia Lopez. Yeah, I think Lopez is willing to take the hardest fights, and that that may end up with him losing first. And he said he doesn't care, but Garcia is going to fight safe. Mm, that's see that see now we're taking the promotion side consideration you're right you're right the, mm -hmm. the, the biz the business of boxing once again jerry we asked you last week but you know we got a lot of viewers tonight can you tell us a little bit about the business in boxing and in, in, in the matchmaking just from your your side of a, a, a of a boxer and some of the challenges that comes with when you want to fight someone but maybe the business doesn't make perfect sense how, how is that for a fighter we know these guys aren't afraid of each other but the right, business right. sometimes does have to mature sometimes it does so how does that feel as a fighter knowing that you might have to wait a year or two for it to really saturate to, to be a bigger fight right for, for each fighter it's it's uh it's a long process it's a waiting game but it's layer thick i mean you got you got coaches you got managers you have promoters you have you know it's just layered so thick that everybody has to come to an agreement the number has to make sense for everybody i mean that's what it's all about we are prize fighters so they fight for the fight for the money and if the money don't make sense the fight may not happen a lot of times like uh you see lord would drive up the uh anticipation for a certain fight before he would pull the trigger but you know floyd was his own own man he could he could do that so they called danny garcia i mean ryan garcia a TikToker. <laughs> oh man <laughs> <laughs> oh boy that's funny all right so where we at somebody somebody tell me what's going on another heavyweight uh, the heavyweight oh uh, more heavyweights coming out yeah yo at least it's not in vegas if it was in vegas i might be sleep you know what i mean so at least we in florida True. so you know because in yeah. vegas the fights don't be starting right. to mad late so once again, guys, you know what I mean? We're going to cut to a quick commercial. This is Jerry. Check out Jerry Robinson at sacredboxing.com. Check out the merch, Lawyer to My Craft, and let's get, let's get into it. Yes, sir. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Garcia don't got the motor. Garcia don't got the motor like us. But listen, listen. I would say this. I know Garcia is. I seen him sparring with Canelo, even though Canelo was taking it real light. But the fact that he's getting that 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 tutelage, you know, I I, yeah. I think that 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 means something. Canelo yeah. to me is one of the goats. If you talking about pound for pound, Canelo's right now. My favorite pound for pound fighter, my favorite fighter fighter is Earl Spence. But logically, if I had to say pound for pound, just given Canelo's resume alone, who in the game got a resume that's stupid like his? Before he was even 25, you know what I mean? His resume was crazy. Yeah? <laughs> Pacquiao still up there. Pacquiao. I don't. Uh, yeah. Active? Yeah, active, yeah, 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 right? yeah, 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 yeah. I'm saying active, though. Really? Active. There's active and Canelo. We, I feel like we haven't seen the best of him. When, who really pushed him so far? You, you see, who's right. about to fight? Uh, a fight about to come up with uh, Canelo and uh, K 
Caleb Plant. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard about that. that I heard about that. That should be interesting. Especially when when Canelo fought Kovalev, I was like, okay, who has what to say? And he was that's his friend, so he was right. taking easy it on him the whole time, <laughs> and still washed him unconscious. No, but but, 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 but but you heard Spence. Spence said he got. He said he got uh, Garcia, and he got Crawford, and then he's moving up. He he wants Canelo. So let's oh, yeah. hypothetical fight. Canelo, a Canelo versus a Spence. How do you even feel about that? Canelo versus Spence. Oh, that's what I want to see. Man, um, I don't like it for Spence. I think that's. Uh, that's I don't like it for Spence. You don't like it. You don't like it. What? what like why, it exact, exactly why? Let us let us know what you're thinking is behind it. Uh, I think that. Um, I think that Canelo is just too nice, man. He's 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 done what he had to do. He faced who he had to face. He's learned from it. He's gone to war. You know, when you when you see him in a second in a second fight with the same person, his right. levels are low. Yeah, he he acquires all the downloads he needs to to make uh to make a win happen in a, in a tremendous way. So um, I don't know. I, I just really got to see Spence and Garcia first. Danny Garcia, right? And see how he comes, how he comes back from the accident, man. He, I mean, his his. Yeah, now that's big because I because I'm thinking of Spence pre-accident when I think of him yeah. in my mind. I, I forget that he had the accident. We have to definitely right. take that into consideration. You know what I mean? Right. So, do you see anybody well, kind of? Uh, hmm? I don't know. He said, "What happened to Triple G?" Oh, I'm not sure. <laughs> he he, he might have aged He's out. The nightmare of the division. Yeah. <laughs> Before Can- Canelo got a hold to him, take one loss, I- one loss, one loss. Yo, listen, guys, I'm training. You know what I mean? I'm training. You know what I mean? And me and Jared already been talking about next year, looking at some amateur competitions. You know what I'm saying? So we about to be in here, guys. What? I'll be streaming the fight. On, on Twitch, Twitch. Oh, y'all shit. stay tuned. <laughs> listen, <laughs> they ain't got nothing to do with us, Bobby. <laughs> uh, who's these guys more heavyweights uh, yo yeah. oh yeah i'm excited for the uh tyson versus jones we'll be covering that too we go we, we go all the big big fights guys we're gonna be here live we're gonna be watching we, we watch them anyway we fight heads so we might as well just get on here watching with y'all entertain y'all you know let y'all in once again if y'all did not see if y'all did not see the reaction from last week's knockout, here it is one more time. Oh, oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! He's oh, done. Oh my God! That, that's that's oh. knockout of the year. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these are these are heavyweights for real, for real. It says Booker yeah, 2020. on his trunks. Yeah, Booker T. It says Booker Dust. Yo, these are some big guys. Big guy, Jared. Oh, ha- have you ever sparred? Ha- have you ever sparred with a heavyweight before? I have a heavyweight. Um, I'm trying to think of, you know, some local guys in my state or region. But um, hmm, yeah. What, I mean, what, you just you just move your feet as fast as you can, just so it but just don't stay stationary. Right, and right. It's it, 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 manageable. Right. So what what was like the biggest challenge you see when facing heavier guys? The fact that they can exhort punches better, like you know what I mean. Like, is is, is that kind of what makes it challenging? I don't think they can. Mm, word. I don't think they can. Word. Okay. I don't okay. think they can. Okay. So um, you know, uh, they were more you know smaller weights being willing to go up to heavyweight. Right. Heavyweights would have an issue. Yo, you know we can't see you. I don't know. You might be doing it on purpose. You, you trying to get the extra promo. 
Oh, no, to get, oh, 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 you got background noise. It's okay. We all yeah. quarantine. We quarantine. Yeah. It's all good. Yeah. You know what I mean? I had some back, background traffic. <laughs> background traffic. <laughs> Loyal to my crab. Uh, I'm an upcoming amateur boxer at 125. Listen, hit Jared up. J yes. well, me, this way. No. Yeah. Hit that me up. way. Hold on. That way. Yes. Little RG Gaming. Hit me up, man. I got some. I got some. Uh, some stuff for you, man. We we we're, we're coming. Uh, we're starting up our YouTube channel, Sacred Boxing. We're trying to make the hardest. We're making the hardest sport easy. Yes. So when it, like I said, I've never ever fought before. Ever. My first tra professional training was from this guy. I've been learning so much. I've been learning mm. about my mechanics. I've been learning about my posture. I've been learning all the little intangibles that a YouTube video just can't quite get you. So that one-on-one -on -one, um, that, that, that's been able to get me. So once again, you guys can hit him up for a virtual training if you're not local. If you are local, you can come through to the gym and we can get in the hands. Like he's helped me getting in all the time. Let's go. So once again, guys, that's like my second or third session. So stay tuned. Let's take this journey. Over the next six months, we're going to get fully activated. We're going to get fully acclimated. And if y'all didn't know, it's the Thriver lifestyle. That's why we call ourselves Thrive. It's all about thriving, but we got to thrive mind. We got to thrive body. And we got to thrive in our spirits. You know what I mean? And we always got to stay loyal to your craft. Whatever craft that that is, you have to stay loyal to it. That's the price of excellence. That's the price of greatness. It's staying loyal to it, staying focused, and make the main thing the main thing. You feel me? Mm. That part. <laughs> and then uh -oh, after that, you, you get the quiet money. Yeah. You get the quiet money after. Yes. Recently yes. signed up for USA Boxing. That's the that's the that's the league right there, man. So, um, Sacred Boxing right here. You can get in contact with him there through his website. It is coming soon, but you'll be able to uh, get on a notification list. And if you want to, here's his IG. Let me put it up for you guys. Um, at Jared Robinson Boxing. Where are you from, little RG? What what state city? Oh, yeah, don't get it twisted, man. I'll be coming down y'all way soon and probably like in the next few days. Oh, we got the crib. We got the crib. I'm showing him today. We had to, we had to beat uh, uh, the producer there. We about to make a studio in, in the downstairs. Like, it's uh, Jared, yo, Jared, we got a place for you to come. You know what I mean? We got the basketball yeah. court in the back. Y'all going to see. We going to be going live there. You yeah, feel Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, especially when I come down in a few days because I'm taking my little two-week hiatus, me and the missus, and we hit 95. Okay, a couple of days you said. So here we go. Here's uh Jared Robinson boxing. You guys can go here um to get connected with him to get here's some of his work that he's been working on with his clients. He's the real deal, guys. It's not just uh, you know, we're commentating, he's actually the boxer. Oh, oh. okay. So this is Instagram. Y'all get locked in if y'all want to get some of that training or y'all want to talk to Jared. Maybe you're a fighter. Maybe you're an aspiring fighter. Or maybe you want to get... Let me let me put the camera on myself just, just so that... I've been talking a lot about this, especially there's a lot of guys watching, right? Maybe you want to get that fighter's confidence, right? One thing I always yeah. notice about Jared, like his posture, how he holds himself, like he has such a, a confidence and stuff about himself that I want it. And I think a large part of that because he has a fighter's confidence. Like the mount... The get in between that square circle, as they call it, you know what I mean? You have to be able to be cut from a different... Uh, plath and, and these are the things that learning how to fight learning how to be comfortable in your skin and your body and your mechanics and your posture help you have that alpha type of energy and mentality and, 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 and a lot of guys you know we need that we need that to take things to the next level in our lives we got to have that confidence so confidence in one area it spills over to the other area so get connected with jared let's grow baby let's grow let's grow i like it he from shot town uh oh he a hitter he from oh, yeah. Town. <laughs> yeah, Chicago. Any of those, any of those big cities, man. You gotta, you gonna get some. Uh, Thirty nine subs. Uh, Let's fighters. go. Let's go. Let's go. What you guys think about Benavides, Jared? What you, what you think about Benavides? I like Benavides. You man. like Benavides. You I like, like Benavides. Nice, nice. Nah, he's, I a, wish he's, we, a, he's a good boxer, so I like this. I wish we could show this fight for y'all, but we can't. Ooh. Yo, yo, time out, no. This happened 
fight is going crazy. Your boy Booker District, or oh, your boy Booker, yo, he got hit with like six punches. That big boy said, "Woo!" Up, oh, he's on the floor. <laughs> Did it? Yo, he knocked out. Like, everybody yeah, is yeah. getting. Knocked yeah, he just, out. he just knocked down. What the? Ooh. Yeah, nah, they say he slid, yes. but it's, nah, he throwing haymakers. He's trying to take the boy head off. Yeah. Oh yeah, nah, he not. I think, he, I think he, he's out. He's out. He knocked out, but he hasn't. Hit oh no! Yet. Yeah, nah, it's over. He's over. It's over. It's he got on socks. <laughs> No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> like he had on socks. What the fuck? What the fuck? White shoes. <laughs> Your boy Booker yeah. got, on, got on church tools. Yo, that's so like, sad. When you see big dudes like that just getting beat down, my heart my heart goes out to them a little bit. Like, to see a big man just get beat down, like, damn, bro. Yeah. yeah. Talk about him with We're going to have to bring up Sheesh. that. Uh, we're going to have to bring up Glove Gate at some point. Oh, we're going to have to do a, yeah, Deontay, yeah. Follow you, big dog. Yes, sir. Yeah, Shot Town. Get connected with Jared, man. You know what I mean? Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like. Okay. Make sure you share. We covering yeah. a lot of things on this channel. Like, we even cover. We're showing you guys how to take content and how to turn it into currency. We're showing you guys. We, we build our own brands from scratch. We take our ideas and we turn them into income. So, boxing is not the only thing that we cover. Everybody on here has on their own brand. Think about that. Mm. Everybody on here, we have on our own brands and our own currency. We live in a yeah. digital world. E-commerce. Trillion dollar industry. You know what more I mean? More one way to get it. More one way to get it. So we all digital hustlers at the same time. We digital hustlers at the same time, but we here robbing. We showing you guys, you know, how we have fun. Facts. How many more fights we got left? Two? I think one more. This is, I think, the next one. Oh, it's Jared. Already nine, it's already 952. What are your thoughts on Canelo partying ways with Golden Boys in um, DAZ and Dads and Harry? Oh, man. It's, it's major, man. Um, I don't even understand it. I mean, it's like, where does he go from here? He's already on top. I, I mean, I think he is, is, it makes room for him to open up his own promotional company. I mean, with streaming, my whole thing is if Canelo, if you say I'm streaming my fight at CanelaAlvarez.com for $40, $50 for the fight, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Yeah. How many people are not going to go and buy? That's when we talking about a new type of ownership. So ownership at Can sure. Canelo Ave Avenue, why do you need this when you can book the venue yourself? You can hire the camera crew to set up the things and you can stream it on your own and keep 100%. That's how I think. Excuse me. You know we about ownership. Ownership. We about ownership. ownership. And as you guys right. see, we can go straight to the actual people. So we do have a question here from a, a follower. They said, um, have you ever fought someone that's been locked up for years and came out to be a boxer? Jared. Mm. Or that you know of. That, that, right, that I know of. I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> I don't get a lot of background on the, uh, on the competitors before fighting that. mass murder was like, I box now. What you want to do? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. <laughs> Listen, God, I I, I like I, I like. I box with everything. <laughs> <laughs> Gamboa, um, we'll see, man. He tore his Achilles. You know, that's that's a t the fact that he's in the ring that fast. He must not have had a complete tear. You know what I mean? But he tore his Achilles, and I feel like he gave Tank a good fight for for one leg. I hurt my Achilles before. I know how hard it is to move, and his mm -hmm. leg looked like it was dead. So we'll see. You know, one thing about the Achilles is when you rehab it and attach it it comes back stronger than what it was before mm -hmm. that tendon so we'll see mm -hmm. you know uh, uh, uh 30s right. 38 35 is not old you know yeah, you guys probably don't know how old we are but everyone mm -hmm. here is over 30 <laughs> you mm -hmm. know and we're still living our best lives we're still athletic we're still here we're still functioning our minds is better we still have good access to our bodies so we don't know gamboa might shock us he does have the experience he's been in the ring with a lot of good people um i feel like him getting that injury early with like maybe like what was that like second round third round he he, he you know yeah yeah so I that. yeah, yeah so we'll, we'll we'll see we'll see yeah y'all let appreciate you bro love from the shot appreciate town you. appreciate and I, and I got your uh I got your your follow Ronald I'm gonna hit you back man I'm gonna follow you back definitely I'm uh, I'm gonna jump in your DM and we gonna we gonna. Uh, she said, Virgil, Virgil, Virgil Ortiz versus Spence. Virgil Ortiz versus Spence. What you think of that? I don't, I don't know much of Virgil Ortiz. I, I will be transparent. You know much about that, Jared? Virgil for Ortiz. Um, Virgil Ortiz or Spence. To me, that's a Spence winner. That's no Spence twitch. Winner no twitch. 
They said, who in the hell would dislike? Ha <laughs> ha. It happens, man. This is why you got to just stay focused. You, you got to live in your own bubble. You can't pay attention. Listen, guys, only one energy can occupy the space at one time. So if you're focusing on what everyone else is saying, I mean, you're not focusing on what you're doing. If you're focused on right. what you're doing, you're not focused on what people are saying. That's how you got to right. live it. Look at death. Look at death. Coming out. Oh, yeah, he's warming up. What and, and thing about it is that the new tool is your the new tool is your boxers is being trained by all the OGs. Mm -hmm. All so the next wave of fighters really might be it. You know what I mean? Like imagine a tank versus dead fight when they're both being mentored by the Mayweathers and stuff like you know what I mean? The game is always evolving. New and improved. Always. No Twitch yet, guys, but we might get that Twitch because we like the game too. We gamers too. We do everything. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? We even got basketball. If you guys go look, I, yeah, we got a video game coming. We'll get into that. But uh, once again, we even play basketball. Here's my basketball clip. Let's go. Let's motivate. But I'm conditioning myself to understand that everything that I do now is the battle between me and me. There is no outside opponent. It's only myself. So everything that I'm, everything that I now that I feel like I've defeated myself. You know what I mean? So yeah, he's still there, but he's weak. I starved him and beat him down. You know, this is why I take cold showers. Cause I let them like, like yo, I'm not playing. What I want to do is what I want to do. And I'm going to torture you until you give up. <laughs> I'm talking to my, my, my procrastination. I'm talking to my fears. I'm talking to my sense of lack. You know what I mean? I'm talking to my lack of self-worth, my low self-esteem. Like, I'm going to punish you until you give up. That's how we give it here, guys. That's the type of energy. You know what I mean? It's you versus you. And we will punish ourselves until that other lower selves, that mm. lower version of us, it has to give up. It has to give up. And that's what we talk about here on this channel, guys. But we share in our lives. That's part of our lives, what we like to do. Boxing is something that we love to do. That jalapeno talk. Yes, yeah, spicy talk. That's what we like. <laughs> <laughs> when is Canelo coming down from that tree to fight someone? <laughs> it sounded like he was busy with that, uh, you know, getting out of contract. Yeah, getting out you of know, that contract. So he's a free oh, man now. Turn the fan on. It's hot as hell in here. Right. <laughs> Booker's still going strong. Got myself in a hot box for real. Got myself in a hot <laughs> box. He said Booker's still going strong. No, I mean, I didn't mean strong, but he's still going. He's still going strong. He's still going. He's still going. <laughs> he, he just sitting. He ain't even throwing punch. He look tired. Oh, yeah. He getting the fat beat off him. <laughs> Yo, not for nothing, guys. Listen. You guys see, I hoop. I play ball. Boxing is unlike any sport I've ever tried. Like, it kicks your ass. You feel me? For real, for real. Yes, I appreciate you guys. Listen, man, and, and everything we understand, we are never nothing without the audience. So our job is just to give to y'all and, and share with you guys. Um, and it's up to you guys to determine if you like it or not. If you guys appreciate it, support. Um, and that's it, man. We're gonna keep growing this we're gonna keep growing, growing, growing this channel. Um listen, I ain't game in a minute. I'm not even gonna front, but we're in the process of building some of our own indie games as well. So we'll, we'll let you guys know a lot of more about that. But my brother game, for sure. I know Jared's too busy throwing hands, probably, to game. But we're going to start our gaming channel. We're going to make Jared game, too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> movies and games, right? Yeah. I got to get my movies and games up. That's one thing, my childhood thing, I never let go was my gaming. Because that's that, that takes me to a different spot, a different place. And now that you look, we're sitting there building our own game as we speak. So when it comes down to ideas and everything, I'm still here fresh with it like i see what's coming out what's new they talk about the p5 overheating and the xbox really won the series the, of the most wanted game and everything like we still i'm still involved man I, i'm still part of got to it keeps you young it keeps you young but listen guys uh yeah. we we have, we have our own artists that we promote on the channel as well so we appreciate you guys for supporting um this next song is going to be by yes. hijack and asian the brat so please check that out 
Um, it's called 100 Bands, so check that out on the channel. That's Hijack by Asian Bright, 100 Bands. Let's get to the preview. Let's go. I'm smoking evil, ready to tweet, I'm in that needle, push it and squeeze, just whip up a thousand grand, I'm about to feed the gang, I so like the China man, give a look through my span, slinging out the ice cream stand, I am the master plan. Yes sir, that's hijack, 100 bands, 100 bands as we say, you know, some, some cultures, they say 100, in our culture we say 100. <laughs> 100 bands. H U N N I T O D. No matter how nah. you like to spell it, it's 100. Yo, mm -hmm. that that joint goes. That joint goes hard, bro. That, it's over. He beat him. Nah. But listen, like I was saying about boxing, and and and, and what, what I realized about it's boxing over. is that when you get tired, oh boy, you in trouble. That's the number one thing. You cool. Mostly, most boxers is cool till they get tired. Once you get tired. Oh, yeah. Oh my! And then it's scary because you're tired. Maybe the other person isn't, and they trying to knock your head off. You can't even keep your hands up. You just like mm. oh. so. That was scary for me. So I've been working on my conditioning like crazy. Yeah. Uh, say that in the, in a moment like that, you get introduced to yourself. <laughs> Facts. Facts. So tell us about right. that. Like, ha have you ever been in a ring where your, your gas tank isn't there? And and, and 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 how did the outcome? Like, what what are some things that you were able to do? Especially, you know. As a craftier veteran, as you got older, to kind of hide um, when you're hurt and kind of hide when you're tired. Yeah, I would just, I would say the fight I think of when you ask that question is a fight with uh, me and Michael Perez. It was a, my first eight round fight, and I've only gone four and six rounds before that. Mm -hmm. And I thought eight rounds. It could have been a ten round fight, but I think eight, eight rounds. Eight rounds seemed like it was going to be like a marathon. And I'm remembering mm. the. Fifth and sixth round, like man, this is so far away, and right. you can even see it in my performance. I I, I kind of shined a little bit at the beginning, right, and then right in the middle, I started having self doubt. The mental game, uh, you know, my mental part of the, um, uh, a part of the sport started being challenging for me, and ultimately, by the time I finished the fight, I felt like I could still go. So it was a, mm -hmm. uh, you know, that that little. That little person will sit on your shoulder and say, come on, bro. Right, You're tired, right, man. Right, Just give right, in, you know? Right. But, you know, I finished the fight. We we went 10 rounds. He, I think it was like uh, they gave him six rounds. They gave me uh, four or, you know, whatever the math was. I, I won like um, <clears throat> a few rounds. He, he won the majority of it. So. so that's basically say, guys, be respectful when you see guys get into this ring. It ain't easy. It ain't easy. It takes a lot of heart. Takes a lot of confidence, even if you go in there and get knocked out, just to step in. Like you have somebody on the opposite side that's trying to take your fucking head off. You know what I mean? So let's definitely show the uh, uh, fighters love. If Jones survived two rounds, Tyson in trouble. Yeah, listen, we we gonna see, we gonna see. You know what I mean? We talked about a little bit about that last week, and you know my determinant thing is is that you know what I mean. The same thing. The first set, several rounds, you know, Tyson is gonna be really on Jones's ass, but. You know, if he goes past that, then, the, the, you know, it, it flips. But once again, you know, seeing uh, uh, Tyson still looks like he's hitting like his prime. So seeing a 50-year-old Jones taking a prime damn near Tyson punch in the first several rounds, like, I just don't know. I don't he can't hit. Many of those. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. You got to think because Jones. Uh, shout out to the Philippines. Shout out to the Philippines. Yeah, shout out to the Philippines. Severino. What's going on? Hey. Yo, yeah, the rest of four wait, days. Wait. Yeah, listen, listen, guys, take it from me. I'll be 35 in a few hours. Tonight's my birthday, 12 <laughs> o'clock, November 8th. And you you don't you don't recover the same. You know what I mean? So you have to take extra care of your body. You have to eat right. You have to sauna. You have to hit the the ice. You have to do all that so that you can, you know, help aid with that recovery time. And, and, and it's okay because as you listen, guys, as you get older, you might lose some things as far as recovery, but your mind, like, you know what I mean? I I don't want my youth back because in my youth I may have had more energy, but I was way more dumber when it comes to everything. I I I'd rather take what I do now, you know what I mean, be able to still move and function how I need to, but the wits is there. You know what I mean? For sure. For right. sure. And, you know, I've been blessed with my parents' hips, so I got to work out on more than the natural man. 
<laughs> what you say? <laughs> what you say? I said I was born with both of my parents' hips, so I got oh, it. Man. <laughs> oh <thing>. man. <laughs> so that heavyweight you know, fight actually you know yeah, the heavyweight fight actually ended in TKO. The referee, uh, Booker, stopped punching. The referee came. Oh, oh, word? Right. And waved it off. Yeah. Every fight so nice has been a stop, right? Yep. It's been a knockout. Yep. Or oh, TKO. Appreciate you guys. The notifications is going crazy. The sign-ups. Appreciate you guys. Like, subscribe if you, if you mess yeah. with the content. Thank you, still, thank you, still, thank you, still. thank you. My best. Listen, this is my best birthday already. You know what I mean? I appreciate you guys. I'm having, I'm having fun, and we watching the fight. We waiting on the Devin right. Haney, uh, uh, versus Gamboa main fight. But to them, we talking a little bit of crap. But as the fight start, you know, we'll do our best once again. We have one professional on here, but none of us are professional commentators. But we're gonna do our best to kind of give you our blow for blows, our thoughts. If you guys forgot, here is our live reaction last week to the KO of Santa Cruz. So you guys understand <laughs> when we talk about we're here, we're live, and we're gonna give it to y'all raw. No freaky. <laughs> He's still down. Oh my god. That, that's that's knockout of the year. Knockout of the year, according to Jared. Let's see. We got a lot of fights in 2020 left, so let's see if we can make that true. That's the knockout of the year. You know what right, I mean? I think true. we do have a lot of action. We got a lot of action to go. But listen. It's hard to match that. It's hard to yeah. match that. So once again, let's guys, we're going to say, uh, do, do a quick shout out to our sponsors right now. We have Red Moon Apparel. Go ahead and grab that. That's the Facebook, Red Red Moon Thrivo and Red Moon Apparel on Instagram. For your entrepreneurs, we have Cash Flow is King. Once again, being able to wear stuff that affirms what you believe and be able to see it on your body and feel it on your body really does help when it comes to entrepreneurship and in business and entrepreneurship, Cash Flow is King. And we have Loyal to My Craft. This is from Jared and Sacred Boxing. Um, this this shirt, I can't speak more about it. He told me that if you wear this shirt, people are gonna ask you what and in fact let me show let me show my face. Let me show my face. If you wear this shirt, he told me people are gonna ask you what's your craft. I've been wearing the shirt and I'll be damned. People are asking me, Well, what is your craft? I'm not it's a marketing shirt. I'm not even doing anything. People are coming to ask me, Well, what I is your craft? <laughs> oh yeah, for I sure. Promo. I need a shirt, Jay. Yes, and once yes, again, yes, and, and once again, days, right? Once again, if you if you if you guess the fight correctly, if you guess the fight correctly, you also get thirty minutes virtual session with Jared Robinson. Let's check out his hands. Let you know the hands are real, people. Yes, sir. So let's go. Who you guys got? Who you guys got? You guys gonna show clips? That boy so, good. Listen, uh, we would love to. We would love to. We tried to last week and they we banned tried. us. They they kicked us off. So unfortunately, guys, we're gonna have to just keep it to the commentary and the fun and the reactions. Uh, I wish we could all sit on here as family and watch this thing together, but unfortunately, this like, it isn't our content, and we have to be respectful of that because we don't want someone uh, illegally showing our content. So it's bring your own stream. It's bring your own stream, but turn it on. Find somewhere where you can find the fight and come share with your boys. Come share with the fam. Yeah, sorry, Philip, man. They they docked us for forty six seconds of uh, a visual, so they got they got pretty specific. Seconds, with it. Man. We think they four minutes. <laughs> So once again, we got Red Moon Thrive on here. Appreciate you, brother, for sponsoring. Appreciate you for sponsoring. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I got you, man. I'm a thriver, baby. My body and spirit. Three piece. You heard. And listen, we got yeah. some more hijack too. We got some more hijack. This song is called Mission. Uh, and let's get to it. Got a whole lot to feed. Hell yeah, I gotta succeed. Nigga, that's you with me on my seat. For this, you know I'm down and bleed. Until they say I'm greedy. I can fuck with nothing else. Fuck with niggas out here that meet me. Spoken on ZD, talking to Kiki, shining them like them babies. There he go, like he Achilles. I'm on a mission, has a sin. Feeling like I'm gonna need a zen. Nigga, just be too hot out here, and I cannot get no tan. Step to me, you in quick sense. Pump that ego brand. Better come get your fan, cause I'm a stand up man, yeah. They come see me, stick on.
gon' be right near me. That fool coming for me, yeah, but they don't let me out, yeah. Better take another round. Cause I'm ready just to let it out. So once again, check out that hijack. Ryan Garcia That's high. against Luke Campbell, December 5th, and Anthony Joshua versus Povlev in December 12th. All right, hijack Ooh. dot digital slash music. You said Anthony Joshua versus, uh, versus Kovalev? No, I said Povlev. Povlev. P U L. Oh, oh, sorry. Okay. Hey, Philip, bro, we appreciate you, man. You respect us, we respect you. You rocking with us, we rocking with you. Uh, we give out a lot of content on this channel. Not just boxing. We give out mind stuff. We give out body stuff. Jared's helping us get our posture, our, our fighters' confidence up. Uh, so we can just be true mind, body, and spirit. As you guys see, uh, we go by the Thriver Clan and the Thriver Crew because we are all about thriving. You know, But we understand we have to thrive in our minds. We have to thrive in our bodies. We have to thrive in our spirit. So that's our message to the entire world. Appreciate everybody from every country that's watching. We appreciate you guys for rocking with us. Once again, pick up your loyalty to my craft t-shirts because life is a craft. And we all have to find something that we're loyal to so once again appreciate y'all from all over man y'all rock with us we rock with y'all and we have a lot more content coming uh, how many fights left to the haney fight i think maybe one more fight but they've been yeah like last week uh last week uh that's how it was everybody got knocked out and the fight started kind of prematurely and tank said he didn't get a chance to warm up mm -hmm. which is really common right do you think, Jared, that you can go out in a professional fight without warming up and, and, and actually fight? Um, I think you can. I think it, it just matters about the opponent in front of you. But, uh, if your opponent starts slow, right? then yes, you know. If, if the opponent is like a lesser caliber fighter, then you have room to, to warm up in those early rounds. Oh, the fight is next, guys. We next. We next yeah. up. We next okay. up. <clears throat> Haney versus, <laughs> Haney versus Pacquiao. Haney versus Pacquiao. That's tough, man. That's still tough because Pacquiao, you can't. Dis I don't give up. You can't disrespect. Power, but he don't got the speed to keep up with motherfucking Pacquiao. Pacquiao gonna keep coming with that speed and keep. Yeah. Yeah, man. Like Pacquiao, the energizer, fuck me, boxing. And Pacquiao's one of the greats. He's one of the greats. So you can never be disrespectful. I don't give. I don't care who's lighting up who. You can never be disrespectful to what Pac. And still, he was oh, yeah. washing Keith Thurman. Just imagine if it was if he, if he fought Pacquiao ten years ago. So that goes to show, like you know what I mean. These right. legends are truly, truly on uh, 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 another level. I was just about to mention Keith Thurman on that note. Like look at Keith Thurman. Keith Thurman was a force to be reckoned with. He even though he, I'm um, Sean Porter gave him problems. He got that fight and. So that was that fight. was that yeah. Was, I love man, dog that's... fights. Yeah. Don't y'all love what? dog fights? Dog fights, man. Ooh. That's why I be watching all them featherweights and them damn Mexicans fight. Them motherfuckers fight. Hey, mira, papa, what happened to the you? Mira, let's fight. Yeah, that's what it's about. <laughs> dog fights is my love language, man. Right. What's the biggest man, dog fight? What's the biggest dog, dog fight in boxing? In boxing. Hmm. What's the biggest dog fight in box? I don't know the answer. I just wanted to listen. Somebody out there. What's that the, ever yeah. happened or that? No, no, no. Now, like now, right now, right now. Between it doesn't even have to happen. I, I'll say, matter of fact, I'll jump in. Crawford versus Spence. Mm -hmm. Dog fight, there you go, boy. There you go. Dog there you fight. Go. <laughs> hey, but you know who, who, who was a dog, though? Who? Sean Porter versus Spence was a dog. Yeah, dog. Yo. What? Dog. He put pressure on that dog. boy Spence. I'm not going to front. Yeah. He roughed the So any, any, fight with, any fight with Sean Porter, you get a dog fight. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 like, I, like, Sean. I like Sean. I like Sean. I like Sean a lot. So, Jared, out of out of all these guys who you met, who who you personally, I kind of know the answer because you told me before, but who did you personally click out of like Spence and all these guys that you've seen in the amateurs? Who did you personally like feel like, you know, was the, the coolest out of all these guys? Oh, yeah. Uh, the coolest, I would definitely say Spence, man. Uh, I was telling uh, Rob about a um, going to the Olympic training center as a future star, as an amateur, going to um, uh, Colorado Springs. 
I saw Spence. I didn't, you know, Spence wasn't Spence back then, but um, and he had a different style as well. He was more of a a slick fighter. But um, I was sharing the story of uh, we were on opposing uh, teams as we had a snow fight <laughs> back in. I can't remember what year that was, but uh, so yeah, snow fight with Earl Spence. Was was, was it snowball hard when he when it hit you? <laughs> <laughs> Did he stop you in a snowball fight? Who won? <laughs> I know I didn't want those problems back then. So, 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 so you mentioned that uh, he had more of a slick, a slick style, and I think that's one thing people underestimate about Spence. Since he's kind of just a so fundamental, he breaks you down. They don't think that he has the skills that he has. That's why maybe against like a Garcia and stuff, like he showed. Like, he has the total artillery, but I don't think people know, like, this. and you talked about this. In sports, sometimes, if you know you got somebody's winning number with, with whatever you're doing, you don't have to switch it up. You could just do what you know right. that's working, beat that person, get them out of there, you know what I mean? So, yeah. I think Spence is just like, you know, until a fighter, let's say like a Terrence Crawford, pulls it out of him, or right. a Canelo, you know, we haven't yet seen the best of him. Just like, I don't think we ever saw the best of Floyd, either. You know yeah, what I mean? that's, that's facts, man. That makes sense. A fight with Canelo, Spence and Canelo, versus would, Mike would, would, like that would put him. Fight. Nah, what you think of that? Sean Porter versus Mike Donna. Mmm. Mmm. Dogs. I love to see that. That's what we talking about. Dogs. Yeah. Look at look at Gamboa. Look at Gamboa and uh, Haney. Yo. November yeah. fourth, twenty. Uh, That's wild, right? Wow. That's Crawford will wait till Pacquiao's 50. That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I just hate the uh I just hate the boxing of it. Like when when, when are we gonna see Crawford in the ring again? You know what I mean? I hate to put uh, the business side of right. it, you know what I mean, to a degree, you know what I mean? Yeah. But yo, in the comments, let like, let us know in the comments. Uh, uh, Heyman did motherfucking um what's your boy chocolate? I don't know about chocolate, what you call it? Chocolatito? No, the um the um, other dude um that um Heyman made him give up his title um from Brooklyn. Um what's his name? Jacobs? Not Jacobs. Uh Paulie Maliani. Paulie? Kid Chocolate. Kid Chocolate. Um, oh, I didn't I didn't see that. Between his mouth. Dark skin dude. Um Yeah. Oh, oh Peter chocolate, Peter bro. Quillen. P Quillen? Oh uh, Quillen? Not not Quillen. Um what was the other dude's name? Oh, Brown. Brown. Not Brown. Look, we playing name What's that by. We don't name. We don't name. Kid, Kid Chocolate is Peter Quillen, if I'm not if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Yeah, wasn't he under Al Heyman and he made him give up the title or something? He hasn't fought in a while, but he was on a good streak. I think he lost like once or twice. Yeah, I don't. I don't know that one. I haven't done research on that one. Yeah, man. Like, like I think uh, he had a belt, and uh, he he refused to fight for it or something. Al Heyman told, paid him not to fight for it. Uh, hmm. Another question I got, Jerry. I'm, as I'm as I'm looking right now, how important or not important was like making sure you had on certain ring attire? Was it something that you really cared about, or you didn't? You was like Mike Tyson just put me out in some like yeah. socks and shoes, or were you into the whole peacocking, so to speak, yeah. the dress up part yeah. of that? I mean, I thought I definitely, uh, definitely for the television fights, I felt like I had to uh, definitely step up my ring attire. Right. So overall, right, Joe, you know, we're not, we're not streaming it. It's, it's bring your own stream. Um, we we tried to do that last week and we got docked by the YouTube gods. <laughs> they took us YouTube. off last week, guys. So we trying to stay online the whole time. I said we got we got we got a lot of people on here tonight. So we just trying to. Uh, once the fight come on, just give you guys live reactions and commentary as it as it happens. As you guys are asking questions, um, we're answering them. We have Jared Robinson, a former professional boxer here on here, so he's able to give you his expert opinion from being in the ring, outside the ring. Now he's a trainer. Um, so once again, Damn. you guys ask the questions Definitely before the fight guys. start. Before the before the fight start, we're going to uh, show you what happened last week. Oh, oh my God! Oh, 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 oh that God. 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 God.
He's oh, gonna. Oh my God. God! That that's that's oh. knockout of the year. <laughs> Two yes, seconds sir. on that stream. Yes. <laughs> oh, here we go. Gamble's yeah, coming out. I don't do. I don't know anybody got. Anyone know who these guys is? <laughs> Ooh, not sure. What? No. Ooh. Sure. Gamboa looking kind of uh, I don't know if the word is O L D, but <laughs> right, he looked kind of yeah. uh, thick. Yeah. <laughs> he probably weighs uh, probably one forty eight. Yo, I didn't know. Um, what divisions? All. Like, oh, 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 I'm sorry. Go ahead, Rob. My bad. What you say? Nah, like I didn't know if you look at the reeks. I think um Haney has like a 72, 75 reach, and Gambo got like a six. Yeah, Gambo is little. Like, like He's short. He's short. Mm -hmm. Um, Jared, I what, what what all uh classes did you fight in professionally? Oh, only uh light welterweight, one forty. Okay, one forty. Nice. Like towards the end of my career, it was catch weight, one forty three, one forty four. Mm. So. And what do you walk I'm around right now? Class. The burger weight class. <laughs> <laughs> um, I walk around 158 right now. Okay. So you can still, still cut weight. Bad. You can still cut weight. Make make oh, weight. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. 48 yeah. hours. Send me the right offer. Yo, I'm actually slimming down. Yeah. I I I was uh in my 160s. I checked my scale today. I'm 153. Oh I'm yeah. Like, yeah. I'm I'm just. You, well, you're five what? Five ten? Yeah, about five ten. Okay. Haney in round 11. Haney Listen. Round 11. What'd you say, Rob? Haney round 11. Okay. I was like, yeah. I was yes, three and some change. Now I'm about 210 now. Hey, listen, dropping the weight, health is wealth, man. Health listen, wealth. if you believe that, go to the website. We are doing yes, giveaways. Register. We are registered. Let us know. Dollars of giveaways. Here, before the fight starts, I'm gonna show you guys how to register because the fight's about to start. But let me uh 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 show you guys how to register or uh, uh so once again you go to thrive with rod.com t h r i v e w i t h r a dot com slash fight night here you get to pick who's gonna win is it gonna be Devin is it gonna be Yorkus are they gonna win by knockout decision or draw what round if you pick decision pick no knockout win by decision if you pick knockout Pick the round. If you want to leave your cell phone to get a text update, if you live in the United States, or it doesn't even matter, wherever you live, put your cell phone number. We'll let you guys know. Um, and we're giving away over three thousand dollars worth of prize guys to those who guessed the fight correctly. No one guessed it right correctly last week, so we're gonna keep rolling over to someone do. Um, and go to Thriver Fry Fight Night and get registered so you guys can win and we can give you guys your prizes. All right. So what we see? What's happening? I'm finally seeing the flyer. Oh, they got the flyer, man. <laughs> they try to they try to get him early. He's six foot. That's a good height. What what what's your weight? What's your walk around weight? Or what class you just you 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 think you're gonna fight in? It's crazy seeing like there's nobody in. I know nobody in the stands, right? Nobody in the stands. COVID. Rest in peace, King Vaughn, man. Yes, absolutely. 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 Rest in peace, King Vaughn. So much talent going too early, y'all. You got to do better, people. Yo, I was listening to um an old fight. Before Michael Buffer and the guy was like, "Let's get ready to run." I'm not even gonna say the whole thing because they might pull the stream <laughs> down. <laughs> right, right. Yo, Jerry, you see, say he only he, um, he's only thirteen, six foot thirteen. Oh my gosh! What? Whoa! Wow! 
He said, I got a long okay, way. I'm only... Yeah, yo, listen, you got a long way. Stay close. You know what I mean? Stay close to Jared. Um, mentorship. Mentorship. The fact that you have mm -hmm. access to, even though you're in Chicago, the internet is a beautiful thing and you can get mentored by, hold on, by a man like that. Utilize it. He's super helpful. He's willing to go the extra mile. Um, For sure. So that we could be watching you and having your fight night yeah. in a few years. Yes. And we could be watching yeah. you on yeah. here. You feel me? Thanks. Yes, because this fight night is not going to stop, man. Every fight, every major fight, soon we're going to be getting branching off. Do our UFC major fights, yo? I was just about to ask you, how do y'all feel about MMA? You know, another tidbit, uh, Jared's brother actually is an MMA uh, trainer and fighter. He actually owns his own MMA gym. So we're covering the entire yeah. spectrum of the physicalities. <laughs> Right. So once Walk again, guys. Like uh, last predictions. Let's hear your last predictions. Sorry, no link, guys. Bring your own stream. We don't have any links. We last time we tried to uh, show some fights, we got pulled off. So oh, you yeah. know, we want to be able to stay on this time. So uh, sorry, no links. Bring your own stream. But if you find your stream, three, if if hours. if you find your own stream, do not hesitate to come back and come watch with us. You know what I mean? And I'm not counting Gambo out because he gives Tank a good fight with a broken foot or ankle. But right. we go, yes, exactly what I said. That's exactly good. what That's I said. Way. Exactly what I said. Yeah. Oh, snap. We just hit 50 subs. Yo, appreciate that. 50 <laughs> subs. Let's go. 50 subs. But once again, guys, Jared Robinson, you guys in the boxing, check him out. So yes, it's the real deal, guys. Definitely the real deal. What does what does Haney got on? He like he he like he's trying to coordinate. You heard me, Rob? He like he's trying to coordinate. Yeah, I'm trying to tell you when I was day age, I could have been in there with these guys. If I'd have took it serious, man, I could have been in there with them guys, man. But I realized I was better at that. I have, <laughs> oops, oops. All right, guys, they're in the middle ring. Referee's giving them instructions. We are seconds away. Everybody got on shields and face masks. Like they about to do a, a, a cleaning job or something. <laughs> Everybody got on gloves and everything. Like, right. I don't know what we about to watch. Right. Look like let we're me get about surgery or something. Let me no, get no. situated. Let me look at the TV. Here we go. We got to watch the surgery before uh, Haney wow, perform, perform surgery on Gamboa. I don't think it's gonna be okay, one side. No. We'll see. We'll see. I think there's a little bit of respect there. Let's go. Yeah, you see it. Body language wise. Yeah. He has to. Yeah, Gambo looks looks Fat. uh okay. thick. Sure. <laughs> I'm sure Haney wants to look impressive. Uh -oh. You know, Tank got a impressive knockout last week. That's a that's a fact. Right. And he looked like he's holding that right hand like a sniper rifle. He holding that motherfucker with dynamite. Gambo like a midget. <laughs> <laughs> Got his shorts up a little high, high around the navel. All right, looking like a Hispanic Tyson. <laughs> the right hand was a was a connect, I believe. Haney. Ain't much action happening, guys. It's you know fill out round. Haney's Haney's hitting him some solid jabs to the body, to the head, but not much action. Okay, 
it. Let's go. Yeah, this is the fill out. Forget a faint. It's COVID. I throw a fake sneeze and hit him with the right. <laughs> Yo, do it, man. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> Word. That's funny. Uh-oh. Okay. Oh. Oh, oh. Okay, they stayed up. A little tie up, but. Gamboa look overweight. That's a fact. A little bit. He shaped like he got his mother hips. <laughs> Yo, Gambo looks starting better than he did with Tank. He, he got a strong Achilles now. He better. <laughs> All right. So, Jared, just to give us an idea, when, when these guys are like posturing and fainting back and forth, what what information are you kind of trying to download? In, in in your head at that pro at the at the time like the filling out process how does that work yeah, looking for the flinch on a on a on a faint looking for uh the twitch the reactions the the um you know looking if a person is looking to engage off of a off of a miss or a faint or looking if they're trying to be be defensive and move or you know block a punch so just he said to... he got that midget power. That's a fact. He got that. <laughs> so first fight, I mean, first round, talk to me. How you guys feeling about that? I like how Gamboa looks. Mm, nice. I like how Gamboa looks. So that's that's a healthy um, that's a healthy assessment. You know, he's a he's a live fighter. And, and with the, him and the tank fight was uh, he looked a little timid, you know, right. scared, to, scared to engage. Right. But uh, he's looking like. He's in it, so. Right, right. Nice, nice. Yeah, so Shout he has a lot, lot more uh, trail to cover. Right. Shout out to all the father-son training duos out there, too. Beautiful thing, beautiful mm. thing. Facts. Oh, I'm going to try and get comfortable on this chair. Shoot. We've been on here for an hour and a half okay, already. But, my butt cheek round. falling asleep. Butt cheek falling round asleep. Two. Let's go. Round two, we starting. Don't change nada. Hold on, let me situate my chair so I can get right. Gambo was getting busy with the jab, up and down. He looks calm, too. He looks right. calm. Yeah. Uh-oh. They're going to Haney with that jab. Haney waiting for the counter. I think now, so. Now, I think so. He's trying to bait him in with the jab. And he's trying to come right after it. Yeah. He's trying to make a miss and then land his shot on top. That was a nice little hook right there from Haney. They fighting in the inside. No punch, Poppy. No punch. Right. I'm at two no minutes. Punch, Where, you Where you at? Where you at, Tom? Rising around. 157. 54. Yeah, we, we locked in. Finally, we locked in. We got that 5G connection. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nah, we're not streaming. Hey man. Uh I thought I thought I thought we was describing the fight. We <laughs> guess we're gonna do a little bit better. Right. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, Haney's Haney's coming forward now. Uh Gamboa's back towards the ropes. And he's really coming forward with a good, clean jab. Um, he's going to press the action. He's not trying to counter as much as he did before. He dropped two oh, strong ooh, right hands. Ooh. Two ooh. strong right hands. Gamboa's right. defense is not bad. His defense is not bad. His, his reflexes are there. He's parrying punches. He's moving his feet. Yeah, I, I'm still collecting data myself to see how I feel about everything. Show that at all. <laughs> Facts. He got to get that Tyson Bob and weave going, and then get it. <laughs> oh, he's moving like Ali right now. <laughs> <Get more. laughs> he's he's getting that jab going. He's getting right back out. He's not getting touched. He's 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 getting in, getting out clean. And he's looking to press the action. He's. Stepping forward, he's throwing some feints. 
jab to the body. He's really, really trying yeah. to draw Gamboa's eyes down to jab to the body. I think Haney's trying to set up an overhand to the head. You know who's real good with that? Jabs to the body like that? Floyd. Oh, yeah, Floyd all day. Yeah, hey guys, so, you know, it right. still is for me a filling, a filling out process. Like I said, Gambo is definitely um, mm. in the fight. He's not out. Woo! He Haney, just ducked Haney up. Threw a, 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 a big, what do they call it, a gazelle hook. And Gamboa saw it. So, <laughs> I'm liking what I'm, I'm seeing with That's Gamboa. That's a fact. Round three, we about to head into round three. Round two, you guys already know. Let's cut to this is, this some. Is round. Let's cut to some. Oh, Jared, prediction round. Come on, Jared. Matter of fact, oh. we're going to throw you on the commercial. Let's go. Yes, sir. Check out Sacred <laughs> Boxing. Loyal to my craft. Let's get connected. Gamboa looks like he got a gut. Round three. They said, uh, who, who's running round by round? Jared, I know it's early, uh, but first two rounds. First two rounds, I, I would give that. Uh, first round is the you know, fill out round. It was a draw. Whoa. Gamboa's coming forward now in this third round. Whoa. Haney hit him oh. with a good draw. Gamboa's still walking forward. He, he now they get now they get yeah now they getting mixy yeah now they gonna yeah yep. let's get mixy look now. at the ref not wearing his mask right what? oh he put it back on he put it back on oh, okay <laughs> that's why he got out the picture he like let me put my mask back on <laughs> yeah Gamboa is being intelligent he's not letting Haney score that jab I think Haney really benefits ooh, ooh. when he touches Gamboa, he touches any opponent with his jab and lets him know when he can throw that right. He said Gamboa is winning. He's definitely being more active. Uh -huh. Yeah, shout yeah, out to he, Dev he, too. He's making, he's making that, uh, Dev a miss. Right, Haney's uh -oh. uh, okay. I think I think I think Haney Haney after this round is gonna start gonna start breaking them down more and more. Gamboa's getting under his, under uh, Haney's punt punches. He's getting uh, almost like he's gonna you know take his back. If it's for MMA, he's really right. getting around him. He's he's just outside of his range. I think. I think it's going to be beneficial for Haney to put oh, him closer guy. to the ropes. Haney's not getting to him oh. as cleanly as he would like. Yeah. And Bo is getting under those shots. Veteran, man. Like I said, you can never dis discredit or discount a veteran in pure experience right. in any sport. Right. Look at LeBron, baby. Look at LeBron. But I still got that feeling in my gut. This one punch is going to have Gamboa dancing. Yeah. <laughs> Haney, right. he, Haney is throwing those counter punches. He's missing, though. Haney's coming forward again. Oh, let's go, Gamboa. It's, it's just right outside. Uh, Gamboa's right outside those, uh, of Haney's punches. So nice body shot there. Gamboa can see those big shots coming. He's just getting right into them. Just get right inside those big punches. Oh! Does Haney have that dog walk Gamboa walk down mentality in him? Oh yeah, absolutely. I think he's gonna he, he's gonna have to bring that out because uh, currently what he's how he's approaching the situation is is um they're Shout boxing. Yeah, so, so once again, we waiting for those big punches. If you guys don't know, we are live. We are watching the fight live. If you haven't seen our reaction to the fight uh, last week, here it is. Right. He's out. Thank you. Oh, my God. 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 O
Oh, shit. No. That was a nice episode. <laughs> yeah. Put that boy on his box. He's still down. So we waiting for some... We waiting for something like that so we can give you guys that good reaction. You know what I mean? <laughs> Once again, it's my birthday night. Appreciate you guys for rocking with me, man. You guys are making my birthday special. You know what I mean? Yeah, you're an hour and 20 minutes, Rob. Yes, yes. The the Rob, eight. Uh, I was born, I think, around 3 p.m. You know what I mean? But okay, we're going to get it started yeah. early tonight. I like it. Gamboa, yeah, those are Rock three, up. two. A hook and a cross. Lands with the hook. Haney's touching to the body with the jab. He's going to have a little bit more success with that jab to the body. I think he's just still getting that measuring measuring stick active. Yeah. Gamboa's blocking well. Gamboa looks impressive right now. And I was wrong. I mean, it's, it's, it's round four, so I, was, I am out of the prize category. Yes. Jared said round three. Uh, Lucy said round four. Uh, Rob said round five. I said round six. This is going to be a stoppage. And I think we had a few around, one around 11 in, 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 in the comments. And we had she a said, why? for seven. Somebody posted get ball. He said, why did you shout? That was from last week. That was the tank versus Santa Cruz. That, that was that reaction. Yeah, that wasn't tonight. That wasn't tonight. That was last week. We, hopefully, we can react to something like that tonight. Right. <laughs> so far, I got the boxing Holy Ghost last week. <laughs> Yo, Jared, we gonna have you start your boxing only fans. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, okay, they're getting, oh, they're okay. getting a little tighter now with the combinations. Uh oh. <laughs> This, this is this the beginning of the end? Is this the beginning of the end? One minute left in the fourth round. Woo! Oh! That was a nice cross. Gamboa ate it. Oh! He swam through it. And he threw it back. Right, that's a fact. Power and experience is the last thing to go. Mm hmm. Facts. 30 seconds left. Last warning. What is he warning for? Holding, maybe? No punch on the break. I'm um, hitting on the break. Um, gotcha. I think Gamboa, Gamboa just tur keeps turning them. I think if he just keeps turning them, keep Devin from setting on that yeah. that, old, that that big right hand he was, he was looking to uh, catch it Gamboa with. So what do you think Gamboa's mentality is? Is it just like to, you know, survive, not get knocked out, or do you think that he's fighting to win necessarily, though? What I'm seeing right now is um, he, he's being competitive. He's definitely fighting to be competitive. He's not... He's not just there. He wants to be. Uh, he wants to come back. He wants to return. So, shout out to Ace Thriver. That's the other Thriver. He couldn't make it on the stream, but once again, we are, we are thriving nation. We are thriving nation. Shout out to Ace. What's up, Ace? Ace Thriver. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, that Ooh, chin. That yeah. Again, How many hits on that? Court, How many hits on that chinny chin chin? <laughs> Said Duran would have ate all these new guys. <laughs> all right, let's go. Fifth round. Who who had a prediction in the fifth round? Icon, you had the position prediction? Rob, yeah, sure did. Let's go fifth round, Haney. He said, "I want to see those combos he do on the Mayweather pad." <laughs> <laughs> Question, Ooh. Jared do Do you think that Mayweather 
change the boxing to where maybe there's not as much combinations and more pot shotting than before? Mm. I feel like I, I feel like that I I, I seen that in, in a lot of boxers now, even in the yeah. MMA, even in the MMA. I, yeah. Well, I mean, what works works. I mean, right. We are all influenced by what works. Mm. Oh my God! Gamboa is going after him, man. He's, he's yeah, he's coming. In the middle of a combination, I, I think I saw Gamboa go to the body as Haney was throwing to the head. So. What is Haney's shorts? What is this, velvet? What the? <laughs> he got the Coming to America's on. <laughs> he got satin velour on. Satin velour <laughs> shorts. <laughs> <laughs> fifth round. There you is. This is the fifth, fifth round. Let's see. Yeah. Gamboa's trying to touch him, man. He's definitely being a veteran right now. I think though, when Gamboa be rushing, that's what he This is a good test for Haney. Like I said, Harry, mm -hmm. let's, not, let's not act like Gamboa only has three losses. Let's not act like mm -hmm. he just washed. Mm. Thanks. Right. He's touching him. Okay. Oh, let's go. Jared, in, in today's new boxers, if you say it's one thing that you're seeing consistently that they're not doing, maybe they're skipping. You know, sometimes generations skip skill sets or things. Is, is there anything that you're seeing or is boxing like fundamentally, mechanically in a good space right now? Um, yeah, I think we're, I think, ooh. Oh! Gamboa is here to, here to win, man. Yeah, to answer your question, I think we're, um, I think that, uh, you know, we're, we, again, we're just influenced by what works. And so to get, sometimes to get away from those mechanics that work, maybe doing working harder than smarter. So. Eight seconds left. Mm, oh, OK. Uh -huh. Gamboa is a rock right now. All right, okay, so five it. rounds in, how do we have it? How do we have it? Ooh, <laughs> five rounds in. I'm gonna be honest, it's hard for me to score. It's so I'm looking to the profession. I'm looking to the professional for this one. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I would. <laughs> oof. It's back and forth, man. I, I, I give it. it. Said Gamboa. Yo, we just broke, we got a hundred, over 115 watchers live. We just broke our first 100 live. Shout out dope, to everybody dope, who's dope. rocking. It's my birthday. So Go. appreciate you guys. Countdown. Birthday yes. countdown. Yes, Go. birthday countdown. 12 o'clock. Hit the cash app. Thrive or ride. Birthday cash <laughs> Yeah, listen, hit the cash app. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to hit your cash app. I'm going to hit your cash app. Say it again. I said, I'm going to hit your cash at the app. bottom. Hey, appreciate it. Y'all want to show your boy some love? Buy me a drink. Hit the cash app. <laughs> you put your cash app up? Uh, Thrive with Ra. Yes, sir. <laughs> Dollar sign. Dollar sign. Dollar sign. Thrive with Ra. Round six. <coughs> I give three rounds to Haney. Two this is my round. Two. This is my round. Let's see. Let's see. I'm not too sure. No, I think I think Gamble is uh he's in it for the long haul. He's in the foot in for the twelve rounds tonight. Yeah, he's stepping forward. He he has oh, good defense. Okay. Turn up death. Turn up death. Oh, Ooh, that was okay. Low, that was low, low. That was a good counter by Gamboa, though. You right, bro. Gamboa is and, and he like he's getting more comfortable. Mm-hmm. Jared, what was your your sweet round where how long did it usually take you to warm up? Like what was your sweet round? Like take I, would, I, would, I would say round three. Round three, nice, yeah. nice. Woo. Oh, oh yeah, he's trying to Gamboa is trying to maul him right now. Okay, good jab. Oh, good jab. Yeah. Jab. Yeah, he's he's Maybe defending jab. well. He's being re dis defensive, responsible. He's tying oh, up on the go. inside. Inside work. I I would say. Haney's gonna need a knockout if he's looking to compete with the with the you know what I'm because it's not really spectacular and he's not dominating him. Right. 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 
it's somebody with a good name too and a good record. He ain't really doing all goodbye. I get both. It's a close fight. That's a fact. That's a fact. Yeah. Woo. Okay. I uh, yeah, but and I think it's, it's a little bit closer than it should be. If Haney was going to take that step up to that next level. Right. Right. Or Gamboa done drunk from the fountain. Right. Of 50, yeah. cent, 50 cent vitamin water. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yo, 50 just dropped him like a bad habit, didn't he? After he, he lost? Did. He did. He did. Absolutely. You know, 50's in, in it for the trends. Yeah. Oh. Right. Mm hmm. Way look if Gamboa win the night, 50 gonna be back like you know I said always I believed in you. <laughs> <laughs> yo, 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 funny story, guys. When 50 Cent, when we were younger, 50 Cent was just coming out, right? No one mm -hmm. quite knew what 50 Cent looked like. Why did everybody think that Rob was 50 Cent? I in real life, I swear to God. They used to oh, think yeah. he was they used to think he was 50 Cent. For real. I told you, Rob. You like my height. Okay. My body frame. Yo, Gamboa is, Gamboa is being crafty I right now. I got the I got the Nike baseball gloves on, the baggy jeans, the 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 EBC hat on. I look just like fifty. Like I just came out of who came a uh, mixtape. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Gamboa. All right, guys. Six round. Nobody got it so far. I lost my bet. Jared lost his. I lost my bet. Jared yeah, lost his bet. Rob his Rob lost yeah, his yeah. bet. Rob is on another planet right now. Rob lost his bet. Had <laughs> <laughs> to mute his mic. Jared lost his bet. Lucy lost his bet. Nobody's close. Somebody said uh, Haney by the eleventh round. So eleventh round. Yeah. So how you guys feel? Let us know how you guys are feeling. You guys is watching the fight. Ace, yo, Ace, I gave you the link. Hop on, brother. It looked like it's Hop on. on. Check your check your DM. I mean, check your uh. You know, check Ace is horrible with technology, so he's he's trying to push his thing. Like, why it's not working? <laughs> why it's not working? <laughs> <laughs> Round seven. Gamble Round seven. Oh, wow! Somebody predicted this gamble. See, you can't listen to these announcers. The announcers are saying they have a hard time seeing Gamboa winning. Like that's why sometimes you gotta watch a, a fight. I'm glad yeah. we're listening to us. I'm not really listening to them. Get on mute because yeah. they they really real sway. And Danny is the cash cow, so they understand that. You know what I mean? So yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. They, they're biased. They're biased. Yeah, yo, Gamboa is being very defensive, responsible. I like the way he's moving. You know right. what? What? Bro, you know what the best way to, to analyze a fight? Uh, What's, that? Winning? What's that? Ask yourself, who would you rather be? Mmm. Mmm. That's, that's, that's a tough one, right? Ooh, that's ooh. a good question. Oh! Gamble feels comfortable right now. Devin's throwing that... that uh, the difference between Floyd, yeah. though, when Floyd was pretty boy Floyd, Floyd was uh, Floyd was different. He's not doing... He's stalking. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Floyd will walk you down. Oh, Whoa. Whoa. Once you broke him, he'll walk through that though. But that that right hand will probably run in the round for sure. Oh. <laughs> but I mean, Gamboa came in there uh, as a middleweight. So you take those punches, right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, man, we were just talking about that. Having a fighter's confidence, it, being cocky, all that is part of it. You know what I mean? This is like the WWE. You know what I mean? So that's what sells tickets. That's that's what sells fights. You know what I mean? And if, if you're a fighter and you're not confident that, that you're the best, you know what I mean? And you're not talking your ish like you're the best, you know what I mean? I don't know. That's the type of person I am. I, I don't talk trash. But if you ask me my nights, I'm going to tell you, hell yeah, I'm nice. You tell me, can he beat you? I ain't going to say, well, no, it's going to be a good fight. Nah, I'm washing him. He's going to get washed. <laughs> right. 
You got to prove me wrong. Yo, I think that I think uh, Gamboa's defense is really getting towards Haney. Uh, Gamboa turned him around, and Haney after Haney missed a few shots, and then Haney pushed him just to. I think it was a little bit of frustration there. Whoa, that could have been upside oh, down for I'm Haney. Playing. Yo, he's yeah, his his. Good, Haney would have died. <laughs> So once again, guys, we are here. You know what I mean? We're going to cut to a quick song by Hijack featuring Asian Doll, 100 Bands. I got your teeth. I'm smoking evil. Ready to tweet. I'm in that needle. Push it and squeeze. Just whip up a thousand grand. I'm about to beat the game. I so like the China man. Give a look through my stand. Slinging out the ice cream stand. Uh -huh. I am the master plan. Ooh, we had some nice instant replays. Oh, yeah. All right. It's, uh, we'll be in round eight. Going in round eight. Going to round eight. So, who we got? Round eight. I Steve Farhood. Steve Farhood. Look, the, the Jared, the Jared Robinson car. Where we at? <laughs> Eight rounds in. Oh, yeah. Um, who's up? I think Haney's still up. Gamboa is doing a lot of uh, defensive. Uh, he has some defensive postures, but he's 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 definitely being. He's not just surviving. He's there to compete. He's looking to win, which is really good to see. Are you more impressed with Gamboa or more disappointed with Haney? How do you mm. feel? I think I'm I think that's both are accurate. Both are accurate. Both. I want to see more from Haney. And I am impressed with Gamboa. They asking who they think Devin would have the most success with. Um, they're, they're extremely biased on this on his commentary. <laughs> Ooh, I don't know, Gambo. Get take keep taking those on the chinny chin chin. Gambo is 160 pounds right now. What do you mean, man? Oh, word. He looking. <laughs> he looking. <laughs> I don't know. He like he got a turt. He like he got a turt. Like he got a turt. Nah, he, you seen? He just caught that right. Yeah, yeah. He like he got a turtle shell on. <laughs> Okay. He's trying to maul him again. Maul him and grab him. And he got warm for hitting in the back of the head. Once again, guys, like, subscribe to the channel. Appreciate you. It's my, it'll be my birthday in a few hours, November 8th, 12 o'clock. You guys want to support, say me happy birthday. Uh, appreciate it. You want to hit the cash app, you can do that too. Thrivers Rod. Love you guys. Yeah, Gamboa is really wrapping them up, tying them up, really frustrating. Shout out Leo Bridgewater on, on, on my watch party. Haney's getting frustrated with the with the tie up. Referee's talking to both of them right now. Okay. <laughs> he got a PhD in oh, holding. The double hook by Haney. <laughs> That's funny. Who said that? The commentary. It's about Gamboa. Oh. Ooh, that's some good defense from um PhD and holy. <laughs> yeah, holding is part of boxing. He's telling me, yeah, it's a skill too. He ain't just holding. It it he be so biased, boy. <laughs> Haney is getting really frustrated though. He wants to just take care of this guy right now. He wants to get him out of there, but eighth round still going. Gamboa looks very calculated on his defense. He's countering with his offense. Round eight is the wrap. Racks on racks, my brother. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Appreciate you, my brother. Oh, man. We're not talking like that. We're not talking like that. <laughs> Yeah, we 
we're showing respect to these guys, man. It takes a lot to get in this ring. It takes a lot another, to get in the Another thing I'm reminded of, and, and everybody should be reminded of, when, when guys get to this level, none of them really show up 100% in the fight. A lot of wear and tear in the body during training camp, and we just get maybe 75%, 60%. Talk about that. How many fighters do you actually feel get a chance to enter the ring at 100%? How many times have you, in your 20-plus fights, have you entered the ring 100%? Um, it's hard. I mean, I can I can uh, only speculate with the fighters at the at the top top level. They're they're getting they're getting so much high level training that uh, rest and recovery is. Is fine line, fine line, sometimes. fine line. It's a fine, fine line. line for sure. And he's looking a little bit better with that that uh that low jab. On is that swelling? Is that swelling under Gamboa's right eye? Hmm, under his left eye, maybe. Let's see. Yeah, because he's been hitting him with that right. Haney got to start walking him down, man, because he got to show us something if he really us, expect us to believe with the stuff he's saying. Right. And and, right. and and he's not boxing slick enough for it to be for it to be that impressive. You know what I mean? He's not. No, he's getting tied up. He's getting uh, tied up with uh, Gamboa too much, especially for him to be the taller, longer fighter. So let's get adjustments this round. You know, is it too late to make adjustments? Like, how are you feeling right now? Adjustments for. Like as a, a as, as a fighter right now, like let's say like just say like okay, what adjustments would you say Haney needs to make, and what adjustments would you say Gamboa should make going into the championship rounds? Oh, gotcha. I would say um, I would say just a little bit better range uh, and, and and distance with for Haney. Keep him long because every time he falls in, Gamboa is going to grab him, wrap him up, and make it difficult. Mm. He's going to frustrate the young kid and uh, and Haney. But um, as far as Gamboa. I think he can probably, he's missing a lot of shots as he's trying to counter. I think he can start his combinations at the body and work his way up to the head. The body moves less than the head. One thing I noticed about Gamboa, like, he he, he throws shots from his feet from where, like, he, he's not even in position, but he's, like, right. throwing shots still. Right. Right. He's, he's, being, he's being magnificent with the tie-up right now. The tie-up game is... It's crucial. Haney does not like it. I can tell he is frustrated by that tie-up. And Gamboa looked like, up oh, another day at the office. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ooh, <-hoo. laughs> Gamboa treated like a walk in the park. <laughs> Woo! Mm. He is grabbing that. He's making him dance right now. Gamboa be in there like his chin is a thousand like he he you know i guess that's you have to be you can, i guess you can't go into a fight thinking well my chin might not you got to go in there and just be you know what i mean yeah yeah he is uh, haney is frustrated right now he almost hit him with an elbow right there too almost did but 13 seconds left guys right <laughs> um i would say if i was a, i would say on the judge court card they definitely got haney up yeah, for sure. For sure. I think Gambo is definitely too defensive to be winning the yeah, fight. Sure. But he is definitely mitigating most of Haney's punches. Morales, what's up? We in going into round ten, man. We're going into round ten. Uh nobody so far we did have someone say that Haney was gonna get stopped in the eleventh. Uh so far everybody's been wrong. And we just gonna just see what happens. Time to put the high guard up oh, and go through right. that's a fact. T twenty that's, that's a super fact. Yep. If he wanna impress us, because yes. he talk he's yes. talking major stuff. So once again, guys, my birthday, you know what I mean? Uh, we're going to cut to showing you guys how I'm working with my hands. I just started working with Jerry, and it's some of the things that we've been able to do. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So 55 minutes. You're going to be 21. Huh? You're going to be 21 years old, right? 21? Absolutely. I'll take that. I'll take that. Here we go. Round 10. 10th round, y'all. Gamboa is smooth right now with his defense and his mitigation of what Haney is bringing. Haney has to, Haney has to make an adjustment. 
soon because he's, he's it's just he's not being he's not performing like he wanted he wants to. I can tell. ACE, what's going on, baby? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I had to make it for the birthday boy. Yes, sir. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. You know. What's up, Ace? Ah, Travis. How y'all boys doing? How y'all having a good night? I see. I see. Yes, sir. Yes, well, sir. Well, well, well. Yo, we got 98 live viewers right now. So this is the most we have. We out here rocking. Hey, Appreciate man. everybody. Everybody subscribe. Everybody like. Everybody tell. Y'all rocking with the best right now. Hey, he's still trying to set up that jab to the body. I think he's trying to set up an overhand right. Gamboa's. It almost looks like Haney's trying to catch him with one good shot too, though. And I don't know if Haney has that. I don't know if he has that type of power. Oh, it's not looking so. At least Best not with Gamboa. And Gamboa, and Gamboa is chinny. It's chinny too. Mm -hmm. Oh. Gamboa eyes is looking kind of chinky. <laughs> <laughs> Look, look ace, you, ace, ball. you watching too? You watching the fight too? Nah, my stream, not right. All right, right. Get right with God. <laughs> get me right, Travel. Get me right. Nice combination, by Andy, right there. You know you and electronics. You might need to get the laptop. Uh, you might need to get Shorty laptop. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm about to go get. Yeah, go get laptop. that. Yeah. the laptop and all that yo this fight this performance from Haney right now just from what I'm seeing makes the Haney versus um Gary Russell fight more interesting so Gary Russell called out Haney too no Gary right. uh well Haney uh Gary Russell and Haney is supposed to fight this date Oh, oh, yeah, the contract. Oh, yes, contract. Yes, 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 <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Yo, Gamboa's being crafty in there, man. Dev ain't trained for that. Dev ain't trained from that. You trying to see him be unanimous decision <laughs> is in trouble. I thought Haney had it. The wow factor, but he doesn't. Ooh. Right. Mm. Ian's comments. Yo, Ian, that's that's. Listen, this is what we're trying. I'm trying to see at the same time. Mm -hmm. I think Ian's right, man. That's accuracy right there because I think we all bought the hype, man. Yeah. But I mean, not not to say it's not there. Yo, but I think Ian Bowles just do a great job. Off. Yeah. They just the stream just go off. Uh oh, my stream is off. Ah, right, hold on, guys. Hold Come on, on, guys. Man. Yeah, this shit acting weak. Championship rounds, eleven and twelve. <laughs> they did that. They did that funny. They were like, uh huh. <laughs> we had to. We, we may have to wait till the comments oh, for, to get the updates. <laughs> 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 Y'all tell us how the fight works. Our stream is out. Hold on, we gotta get back right. I think I gotta. Oh no, nah, that's not back right. Oh, there we are. Are we back? That's not working. We reload it if you can. Ooh. Ooh. Gamboa hit him with the back, hold on. with the right hand. Bring your own stream party. Bring your own stream party. Yeah. Two minutes and ten seconds of the eleventh round. Right, These are championship three. rounds. Back. Round 11 and 12 are championship rounds. T20 said, I always thought Gary's output and combos would get the Haney. Man, listen, I'm a, I'm a Haney fan. You know what I mean? But he isn't he isn't showing me nothing right this second. You know what I mean? Now, is it I'm underestimating Gamboa and just being disrespectful? I don't know. I'm trying not to be. I'm trying to say he's in there with a crafty veteran that's been in there with some of the best. You know, and, and, and the veterans give him a tough time. The veteran looks good. I can't wait to hear, uh, hear what Gary has to say tomorrow. You know he's going live. He's sharp, but no power slaps a lot. 
Need that man yeah. strength. That's what I felt about mm-hmm. Dev when he was in Mexico, when he was fighting. Like, he's good, but he was so small even back then. I'm like, I want to see how that translates into, right. into strength. You know what I mean? Because right. he definitely didn't have the, the, the that, you know, when he was uh, 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 younger. Ian's coming with the truth right now. Come on, Ian, subscribe, brother. We need you. We here all the fight nights. You know, mm. We have uh, everybody that's fighting. We got the Spence. We got the Tyson fight. Uh, we got the Gar- Gar- Garcia fight on the 5th. Um, oh. Like a point can't take away from him. Oh, they took a point away from him. Taking a point from him. From what would he do? I missed it. Uh, no holding. Shit. Holding. holding. Yeah. There's more ways that you want to have power punches. That's a fact. Well, well, Jared, could can you teach power? Yes. Can you? You can. Uh, yes. Oh. I can. Yes. Yes, I can. The goat <laughs> status. Goat. I can. Oh, I can. We in the championship round. Got four, six, seven left. This likes to go with decision. Nobody got that right. So once again, no winner for tonight's prizes is looking like. <laughs> we carry it over to next week. We carry over to the next the next fight. Somebody's going to win. Yeah. Haney's getting a little desperate throwing those Somebody shots. And Haney is, uh, and Gambola's really tying him up still. Gambola has his hands down. Oh. Making Haney miss. Well, sometimes they're, they're connecting, but it's not phasing Gambola. Okay. Gamboa is like five foot five and 160 pounds tonight right now. Let me stop with the <laughs> with the rumors. Now nah, he said Devin trains like Floyd, but on fight night Floyd put on. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, Ooh. look, it's one on one. We got one 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 views on right now. Yeah. At one eleven. Senior Avenue, I agree. At, that. That's facts, man. At one eleven. Come on, man. I, I'm about to get off the stream. I'm about to get off the stream. I can't. It's enough. To, it's too much for the day. <laughs> it's too much. Yo, what? you talking about numbers? We've been seeing, yo, it's me and Ace's good. number game is second to none right now. Real. But yo, loud. how y'all feel? Championship Tool. rounds. How y'all feel? Yeah. How y'all feel? How y'all feel? What's going on? Hey. Uh, I feel about this because right about now, Haiti ain't gives me nothing that I can speak. All that house <laughs> talk, that shit is mild right now. Okay. <laughs> shit like that. Once again, we're going to cut the little bit of uh, 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 us. We got a couple seconds. We on a mission. Got a whole lot to feed. Hell yeah, I got to succeed. Nigga, that's you indeed. On my seat. For this, you know I'm down in bleeds. Until they say I'm greedy. I can fuck with nothing else. Fuck with niggas. I- All right, let's go. go. Let's 12. go. Round 12. Let's go. Haiti. Haiti wants to knock him out. Okay. Let's get Something. A little slip. slip no Achilles. <laughs> he got scared. He died. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> hey man, yeah, my is not late. moving though. Off of, off of Haney's shots, he's not really moving. He's eating his shots, like. Mmm. Oh, okay. Come on, Haney. Yes, dog, yeah. boy. That's dog. Get doggy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Stop playing. That's right. That's right. He's boxing with it, though. He's like moving around too much with it. He, has to, it. he has to either be coming forward or stand still and do that same stuff. Stockton, shout out to Stockton. Shout out to oh, Diaz oh, brothers. Hit oh. you with the Stockton slap, baby. <laughs> Nate Diaz. Oh my God. Yeah, Gamboa is gonna. Gamboa is taking. A minute thirty nine, guys. Like, it's 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 gonna go decision. It's probably gonna go Haney's way, but the fight did not go his way. It's gonna be a lot of trash talking out of this. It's gonna be a lot of tweets because he talks so much trash. So the thing about talk. you gotta be able to back it up. Better. Mm-hmm. There's gonna be a lot of challenges. Yeah, Haney is very frustrated. Hey yo, Rax, I, I, I'm disappointed, yeah, disappointed too, man. I'm disappointed. He yeah, take Ryan. Same. This ain't what, what I thought he it was. Yeah, he could take Ryan or uh, or Tank. Yeah, I don't foresee it. Whoa. Oof, oof. That's a good shot. Dev good could shot. stop him oh. if he stay in there and just, he got to dog it out with this guy. Yeah, he, he got he to gotta learn how to defend the holds, man. 
Haney hit him with right. his best Eli shot. Game. Nothing. Nothing. Eli getting bored to hold, hold him for he trying to take credit. Majority of this fight. Come on, Dad. COVID dead. Yo, he said 35 he like, seconds. He like playoff P. <laughs> well, Gamboa just earned himself another fight. Sure. He shall yeah. live the fight another day. <laughs> another payday. What y'all feel about uh we'll talk about it after the fight. We'll talk about it after the fight. 16, 16 seconds, seconds left, guy. Dev don't look like he really wanted. Mm -hmm. Gamboa is, you know, he's gonna raise his hand up. They both gonna do it. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? And, and we'll see. Gamboa has his hand down. Woo! Is Gamboa is walking funny though. He's walking funny. He's walking funny. He hurt his Achilles again. He might have hurt his Achilles again. Possibly. Gamboa put up a big smile yeah. just now. He made it through. That's when he swung and he missed and he almost died. Yeah, in the beginning of the round. Haney Remember? Garcia not gonna happen. He might have tore his Achilles again. If it if he, he's he's limping, he's limping. Right. It's a wrap. His is Achilles, is, yeah, he's limping. Okay. Y'all right? Haney's learning tonight. Yeah. Haney shout out. It's over for the <laughs> Gary Russell Jr. is going going viral in a few if he hasn't already. Right. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> Haney should keep his mouth shut for now. Damn, Haney, you oh. losing fans, baby boy. You Man. losing fans. No good, bro. That's we believed no in you. I, I was <laughs> voting for you. I, I ain't gonna front. I am. I'm pretty disappointed. He won this fight, I old boy yeah, was gonna rock him. But Jared, yeah, yeah. like, like I know in basketball and sports, like sometimes you have a bad night. It's, 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 it's such a such thing as a bad night. It's boxing, or do you think that Haney has a lot of things to work on? How do you feel? I think it's both, man. I I, I would really have liked to see the adjustment in Haney. You know, he's he's tra he's training with the adjustment god in Mayweather. Mm. I don't know if you can teach mm. adjustments, mm. but uh, you know I would like to have seen him defend uh, defend against the uh, the holds and and ultimately control distance a lot better. He just kept falling in to uh, Gamboa's arms. So, so Dane ha ha Haney versus tonight. So he was getting his head punched. <laughs> Haney yeah. Yeah, he and was, Tank he was hugging. Haney and Tank both fought the same one. Who who did it? Who did it better? Who wore it better? Who wore it better? <laughs> Tank. Haney or Tank? Tank, absolutely. I Tank. think Tank, Tank wore it better. Tank for sure. Would y'all call it a draw? Nah, I'm not gonna call it a draw. I think the judges is definitely gonna give it to Haney. Yeah. Um, if they don't, I don't even. I can't even think that way. Yeah, you know right. what I mean? Um, do I get it? The, the, it makes business sense right now for them to get the Haney. Right. <laughs> oh boy, yeah, no, nah, that's a fact, Dwayne. That's a fact. No, but at the actual fight to me, he actually beat him. Say it again. So once again, guys, like, we gonna cut this. We, fight, Haney beat him. we gonna we gonna cut to a, a quick commercial. This is by our our boy Rob Icon Thrava Red Moon Apparel. We have kick habits. We have lawyer to my craft. Let's get it. Oh, wrong one. Boy, we're all thriving in the building. Red Moon Apparel shoot, you know what I'm saying? Manifesting something beautiful all the time. Thriving boys in the building. You already know, Dog Child Academy, we here. We got to do what we do out here. It's Red Moon Apparel out here. We do different things. You feel me? <laughs> oh, yeah, you already know what it is. Red Hood, Red Moon Apparel, you feel me? All right, listen, we about oh. to announce the fight. I had to cut back, but we got Red Moon and Power. Shout out to Rob Icon Thrava, the iconic one. Can you smell? <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's wait for the decision. What's the game talking about? <clears throat> I can't hear the score. Somebody say the score is out. 18 with a line. 120, 120, 120, 120, 120, 120, 120, 120, 120, 120, 120, 120, 120, 120, 120, 120, 120, 120, 120, 120, 120, 120, 120, 120, 120, 120, 120, 120, 120, 120, 120, 120, 120, 120, 120, 120, 120, 120, 120, 120, 120, 120, 120, 120, 120, 120, 120, 120, 120
This was our reaction to the tank fight live. Let's go. Uh -huh. He's still down. Oh my god. That's 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 knockout of the year. So, <laughs> you know, a little lackluster, you know what I mean? But yeah. uh, we'll see. How do y'all feel? Y'all talking. The comments is lighting up. How y'all feel? Yeah, they're they're uh, showing the highlights right now, round by round. Damn, he looked that bad. I remember, Styles makes fight. Uh, so there's no you. way yeah. Haney can beat Davis. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Ian, Ian, make sure you subscribe, bro. Stay I tapped like in with us. I like him before, before the night. He was going to talk about the division. I like him. So, thank you. Yeah. So, yeah. so I mean, every, wow. every fight like this is a major opportunity to sell yourself. He, 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 he beat him to the punch every every round. He just ain't knock him out. And he didn't do that spectacular. Like, he beat him to so the I'll punch. Make fights. Ball faces. He punched clear him. robbery. I wouldn't say it was a clear robbery. But, yeah, I don't like those scorecards, but Dev he hit hard enough. Dev Dev definitely was gonna win though. You know what I mean? And the judges wasn't gonna come on. The the, the judges was gonna yeah. give it to him. And yeah, even the numbers, we're looking at the numbers right now. Uh, Dev landed um 133. Uh, to then they they moved it. 84. Power punches 82. He landed 34 percent of his power punches. Gamboa landing 22 percent because those listed. And now after the fight is done, I'm more convinced that it wasn't that Gamboa looked too good. This dev just didn't look too good. You know what I mean? The the right person would have got Gamboa out of there. Like if Tank fought Gamboa again, he, he would have got him up out of there again. You know what I mean? Right. Uh, I definitely do think Gamboa uh, tore his ACL or, or hurt his leg. Like this, anybody with power would have fought with those numbers. They would have got yeah. him out of here. Anybody Word. with real power, like power, real right. power that had Haney numbers, they'd have got him out of there. No, that's absolutely right, Aiden. Um, he can learn a lot from this. I just think that mm -hmm. when you talk that talk, you don't have no time to say, well, he can learn a lot from this. Either you yeah. shut up and, and you just say you being humble. Don't be calling guys out. Don't be doing all that. And, 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 and you can't come in and really, really be backing it up. So that's the only part about Dev, I think, how people feel is that you're trying to talk that Floyd talk, but you got to be able to come in and really back it up. How you guys feel? Yeah. Oh, hold on, hold on. Let's, let's, listen, let's listen to the fight. Let's listen, let's listen to this post-interview. That face is perfect. He ain't get touched, really. True. So he's basically saying that he knew he was gonna do a lot of holding. You know, he hit him with big shots, which you know that's that's debatable. Um, right. But he definitely frustrated him. Of course, he's putting on a little bit of bravado, you know, afterwards. But you could yeah, tell he was frustrated. Sure. You know sure. what I mean? Um, sure. I want to ask him if he's going to give himself a grade. You know, usually they ask fighters to degrade themselves. Oh, yeah. So Haney was not backing up what he was talking. He was saying stoppage in early round. And that... King Doc, that's 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 basically what we're saying. You know what I mean? Like if, if you talking that talk, you gotta back it up. So he's saying that basically he's saying he's saying basically he couldn't get the knockout because he's crafty, um, holding, et cetera, et cetera. He's gonna keep talking in circles like that though. Is there media training in boxing? <laughs> Um, I think Tank has had media training. So, yeah. <laughs> I was impressed with Tank's post-fight interview. Can y'all hear? He said, can we hear? Turn it up. 1-1-1, one, 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 111 viewers once again. Haney is no match for Tank. 
Well, Devin mind. is the future. They asked him what type of message do you think he sent? He's calling out Lopez. Okay, he called out Lopez. He's calling out Lopez. Mm -hmm. He called out Tiafimo. How y'all feel about that? Tiafimo and, th and, and this Haiti tonight? Yeah. This Haiti tonight? Yeah. I like Lopez. OG Thrava, what's going on? Brian, what's up, baby? Devin's not ready for Davis, Lopez, or Ryan. Shakur, Shakur is a better fight. We ain't even talk about what. Wait, Shakur is that like him? How we missed that? How we missed Shakur? Uh, we ain't never talked about how did we do that? Who's Shakur? Shakur um, who's he with for promotion? I don't know who's he with. Guys, who, who's Shakur with? Let us know in the comments. He said Lopez will eat his lunch. <laughs> Tank, final press with Leo. Had me surprised. Answer every question. Visualizing, visualizing the answer. Nah, Tank... Listen, yeah. we, we talked about Very that. Tank, Tank was thinking that entire fight. He was thinking that entire fight. You know what I mean? Right. So y'all forget Tank and Devin Sparn. Or what about the doghouse footage from Floyd? Floyd won't put out. I don't think at this point, as two grown men, you know, we could talk about the, the dog fight footage, but how long ago was that? You know what I mean? Both of you guys are young guys. So as two grown mm -hmm. men right now, and talking about, uh, even to me, Tank even look more... Maybe I say athletic than Dev based on fight mm. for fight, fight for fight, fight for fight. You know what athleticism, I mean? That's a good yeah, one. and then so you match the athleticism, the speed, and then that grown man power. And based off what I've seen tonight, if Gamboa could touch Tank, I mean, touch Dev, mm. Tank is gonna touch Dev. So, what mm. happens when you have someone that has dynamite, as they call in his hands, and he touch you? You know what I mean? That's what we need to see. Yeah. Right. So, once again, we ain't even throw Shakur. So, how do we feel about Dev's stock after this fight? Did, 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 did he hurt it? Is it stay still? You know what I mean. How, how do we feel about that? I, I would say I would say it stays still, uh, or I don't know. I, I would say it's, it, it just stays still. It just stays still. So he he didn't do no harm. He didn't do no good. He just he's still in the mix. Now, how he's do you think the, the other top lightweights? How do you think they feeling about Dev right now? Oh man, they like, huh? They're, the huh? They're drooling right now. They want a piece oh, word. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, guys, it's always gonna be the haters, you know what I mean? We troll them, we highlight them, we love them. Y'all still yeah. watching, you know what I mean? So, enjoy as I block your ass, right? <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> his head is still above water. Yeah. I hate him. If Haney was as big as that's it, man. That's that listen, yeah. say what y'all want about Floyd, right? Floyd talked it and he backed it up. You know what I mean? Yeah. He backed it up. Yeah. Alright, so what we got, Fires? We got what's the next fight night? What we looking? The 27th, Danny Jacobs. How y'all feel about that? We got Billy Joe Saunders, we got Ryan Garcia, we got Anthony Joshua. What y'all want to see us go live with? What y'all want? We got Tyson Jones. We got Nate Robinson versus right. which one of the Pauls? <laughs> one of the uh, Pauls. Jake, Jake Paul, I think. <laughs> when they hate that, miss you great at what you do. Yeah, listen, guys. Everything you do. This is why we got the merch. Let, 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 let's talk to you real quick. You know what I'm saying? You got to be concerned with what you're doing. You can't be concerned with anybody else is doing. Only one energy can occupy your space, your vessel. So if you focus about what other people got to say, that means you're not focusing on your own greatness, well, guys. That means you're great. Yeah. You so do. come on, we don't even that that doesn't even hit our radar. That makes me laugh. You know what I mean? Down down votes and people trying to troll. That makes us laugh. You know what I mean? That's part of the game. So in order to accept greatness, you have to accept that part of the game too. That just comes with it. So we ain't faced by none of that. That's a 
Yeah, you can always ask them. Anybody that uh, dislikes, you can ask them to post their stream so we can evaluate as well. Yeah, let them get on camera. No bud coverage. No bud coverage. Crawford versus Brooke will be a good one. Yeah. How y'all feel about that? How y'all feel about Taylor that? Katie Taylor can fight. Who? Katie Taylor. Oh, Katie Taylor. Fight. Oh, word? Crawford versus Brooks. Uh, I seen Brooke. Listen, guys. 30 more minutes to my birthday. So we're going to stay on for 30 more minutes until my birthday. You know what I mean? So I appreciate you guys rocking out. You know what I mean? We're going to try to keep y'all entertained. Um, we're going to be answering comments. We're going to be answering questions. Um, we have Jared Robinson on the line, professional boxer. So any boxing-related questions, we'll be able to answer. Any questions about anything, we'll, we'll be able to answer. So let's get it. Let's go. Yo, mama ugly. <laughs> I ain't gonna block you. I'm just gonna put you in timeout. Like a father supposed to. Take your ass to timeout. I ain't gonna block you. You on timeout. <laughs> Alright, guys. So fight's over. You know what I mean? What's what, what's up? How are everybody feeling? Man. My brother, appreciate you. Appreciate Thanks, you. Baby. Love over, love always overpowers hate. You know what I'm saying? A higher vibration all the time. Yeah, so that wasn't as exciting as last week, but we made it through. It was, it was, uh, it was what it was. Like Haney said, it was what it was. It was what it was. <laughs> um, I think, I think uh, someone made a comment. King, somebody made a comment and said that um, Floyd shows up. And I think last week Tank showed up. Right. You said say that one more time. I think uh, somebody made a comment saying that Floyd shows up. Right. And during fight night, and these these guys are imitating him, but you know they're not showing up. I think I think Tank showed up when right. he had to last week. So right. It's it's that game day pressure, man. Right. You yes, can't sir. quantify it. You just you can just observe it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Why, why y'all studying that man cranny, right? Let the man live. You get what I'm saying? You, nobody <laughs> care about all that. Y'all going to see. I, I get on how I get on. Sometimes I got the cut. Sometimes I don't because I don't care what other people think of me. You know what I'm saying? I be mm. 35. I ain't no young boy. You know what I mean? When you young, you insecure what people think. When you secure with yourself, you know what I mean? And you know who you are. You, you know who secure. you are. When you're very secure and you know what you <laughs> represent, you know what you about. You ain't caring about none of that. You get what I'm saying? Wayne Dyer right. says he's independent. Uh, he, he, to be independent of the good or bad opinion of others. Let's go. Shout out Shout out to Wayne Dyer. R.I.P. The late. Shout out to the late, great Wayne Desire. Bro, you going, I thought I put you on timeout, man. Like, you my son. I thought I put you on timeout. Let me put you back in timeout. He's back in timeout. I didn't even block him. He's blocked for five minutes. He going to come back. Bro, you had 53 subs. They deleted your subs. It's all good. Yo, yes. Listen, where's the book at? Where's the book at? Hold on, hold on. <laughs> you do look like Malcolm X, huh? You feel me? Yeah. Yes, sir. This is this is the ancestor. Bye, bye, bye. This is the ancestor. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> so listen, we ain't the average channel. You know what I mean? We fall from the average channel. You know what I mean? Y'all see that? Y'all see that thriver, Rod Thriver. We all about thriving. We thrive mind, body, and spirit. You know what I mean? We understand the physical aspect to this life. We understand the spiritual aspect to this life. We understand the metaphysical aspect to this life. And now this this life is like a game. That's what we do. We do what we want. You know what I mean? We live life on our terms. You know what I mean? And we thrive. That's it. That part. Right, though. All on my Johnson. You know what I'm saying? And I still get way more girls than everybody he knows. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> um, what about the Spence fight? Once again, you know, if this was Spence before, if you're asking me personally, everybody can answer. If this was Spence pre-car crash, I'll be, I'll be with it. I'll be rocking. Like, you know what I mean? But we don't know. Yeah, I, <laughs> Go yeah, ahead, Jared. But, but, I, but I think they, they, uh, his team is, <laughs> is ultimately... You know, all things, all the, all things check out. You know, he to put him back in with a dog and Garcia. So I mean, I can't, I can't wait to see it. I mean, it'll be a, it'll be like a debut again. But let's see what comes up. 
I just love I love Spence, man. I just I love the dog in him. You know what I mean? That's that's mostly like even I think with fighters or anybody, you know, celebrities. I think we like the people who reflect who we are the most or maybe our highest yeah. values you know what i mean and yeah. i think if i was a fighter that's like, like like the dog and spence you know what i mean that's that's how i definitely would be so listen guys we're gonna stay on here to 12 i appreciate you guys it's my birthday at 12 o'clock so we're gonna stay on here and rock if you guys want to rock with us we're gonna answer questions we're gonna talk about stuff um, and we're gonna rock out. I appreciate you guys. You guys made this one of my best birthdays ever, rocking with all you guys. So I appreciate y'all. Nah, Spence is a dog. Spence is a dog. You know what I mean? We we, we definitely just talked about that. Yes, yeah, sir. You gotta live your life, man. You can't be thinking about what other people got to say all the time. You won't do nothing. You know what I mean? You'll be so frozen because of what someone else <laughs> might say, what someone else might think about you. You know what I mean? We don't we don't play those games around here. You know what I mean? Atomic Dog Spence. Appreciate you, my G. Appreciate you. Appreciate you rocking with me. Subscribe, share the channel, show some love. What about the Charlo fight? Who Charlo fighting? Mm. Who he fighting? Let me see. Let's look it up. Charlo. See who you fighting. I'll be mixing them up. Right, I do too. I think Jamal so is the one with one loss. So basically, when we watch this fight, we're not going to say, yeah, that Devin's the next Mayweather. Nah, 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 nah. I think everybody, <laughs> I think everybody want that so bad you know what i mean and you just gotta mm. let that happen organically you know what i mean like yeah. mayweather mayweather who was he trying to be he was just trying to be himself you know what i mean so right. he, he definitely he definitely isn't that appreciate you appreciate you appreciate you so once again, we're going to cut to a quick commercial. We got Sacred Boxing, Loyal to My Craft by Jared Robinson. You guys looking to get your hands more proficient. Please check the boy out. Yes, sir. And once again, he's been training me. You know what I mean? I've been learning. So don't be too hard on my skills. We still getting there. But check back in a few months. But let's go. Yes, sir. And I've been loving yeah, it. But like I see, yeah, it is a hard sport. I've done a lot of sports, man. Boxing so far has been has been definitely uh up there with the with, with the hardest. That's that's for Shizzo. I'm checking in on these comments. I'll tune in next time for sure. Good. Hey, appreciate you, bro. Appreciate you. Um I'm trying to think. When is the when is the next fight? When when what's today? Today is the seventh. Today's what's the, the closest, seventh? the closest, closest next fight? Y'all tell is, me. Is it the 28th? The 14th, I think. 14th, okay. Who do we have on the 14th? But I think that's <laughs> I think that's the Katie fight. Okay. She can fight. <laughs> she can still <laughs> to the women. So it wasn't even a hint of Mayweather skills tonight from, from Dev. I mean, he got the mm. posture, he got the look, he he has it, he has it, you know. Just sometimes it's just putting it together. You know what I mean? Gamboa yeah. was was tricky, was crafty. I don't think that in sparring, I don't think that you can replicate a someone like a Gamboa, you know what I mean? Or even account for someone like, all I'm doing is going to be here to frustrate you all night. And that seemed like th that's what Gamboa was cool with. You know what I mean? Yeah. So um, I'm not trying to say we, we didn't see a hint, but, you know, I think if we're thinking Mayweather I'll and like any that, of these guys that, that we're looking at, any of these guys we're looking at, and we're thinking Mayweather, we're, we're, we're going to be disappointed. I think we got to kind of learn how to appreciate these guys for who they are as individuals. What you think, Jared? Yeah, I agree. That's that's well put. I, I would say even uh, you know if, if a fighter can't get off the way he wants to, it, it can be frustrating. Um, that that piece of you know Mayweather is a, a talented adjust adjustment uh, adjustment maker. 
And um, yeah, I think I think even Andy had had high ho- high hopes for himself. You know, hit, hitting Gamboa and making him disappear. Yeah, it didn't happen, but physics. So, hey, Thrive, make sure you record the Mike Tyson. Yeah, now nah, we're going to be live for that. We're going to yeah. be, that, out of all the fights, we're going to be live for the Mike Tyson and Roy Jones. I think got on the other card, they got uh, one of the Paul brothers versus Nate Robinson. So, I definitely yeah. want to see that. Um, so, yes, sir. Wow, Henny got hugged. Got <laughs> hugged, fuck hugged. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, I gotta check. I gotta check those girls yeah. out. You know what I mean. I'm I'm definitely yeah. into women's MMA, so I definitely need to start doing more of my uh, research, um, in, in in women's boxing. You know what I mean for sure, right. for sure. The gamble look kind of fat. Yeah, too many oh, Oreos. Kind of thick. <laughs> too many. He Oreos. ate well. He ate nice. Yeah. You're right. Definitely would be another Mayweather. No, no, no. Woo! He hit the top. When we say oh, that, man, the Wilder, the Wilder, the Ooh, Hey, listen, let's talk about it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We got some time on my birthday. What's up? We got, yeah. you know I'll, what I mean? Like I'll 19 work. minutes. 19 minutes. Let, let let let's let's talk about. Yeah, I'll start. I was in comments today, back and forth with about three or four different people talking about Glovegate, and I am a believer. I I call it, and, and and to say I called Fury to beat Wilder based off of style. Mm. But I think he still cheated. You you, you, I, you, you, call, you called him to beat him the first fight, second fight, or both fights? Uh, just the second fight. The first okay. fight, I just kind of let it let it play out. The second fight, um, I, I thought he I thought he he won the fight. But when I saw the picture of the glove stopping here and the tape and the gauze stopping here on Fury, and saw the positioning of what of how he was throwing his flappy gloves. Right, I said that's there's something there. There's something there, and I'm, right. I'm not sure if it just takes a fighter to to know that. But I know when my hands are wrapped, my gauze is inside my glove, and I have never seen it, you know, almost leak out. And uh, you know, I don't think he put anything in the glove per se, like Deontay saying like uh, egg weights, uh, egg weights or whatever. I don't think that necessarily, but Fury definitely cheated. He was doing he was doing Irish bare knuckle boxing, <laughs> mm-hmm. and this is guys. This is coming from a, a former professional fighter, so someone who's been dedicated and loyal to the craft. So this is not just you know any Joe Smo just 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 giving his commentary. Now I would say once again, the evidence is very compelling. I've never in my life seen gloves. You know what I mean? Flipping yeah. and flapping and and doing mm-hmm. that, and then when they show the padding, like these are gloves. Like there should be no dents. There should be anything. Right. But the other thing I say, right? And watching that fight, hold on. Let's let, let's get back to the even screens. Watching that fight, right, live before the fight even started, when they took Deontay's mask off, I was like, what's he just looked like he was off. So then he's saying mm. that Mark Breland and allegedly, allegedly, Mark Breland tainted his water. He had also mentioned that. So mm. that's the biggest thing that I didn't think that everyone understood is that why did Wilder look the way that he looked? Go back, go yeah. back and watch the fight. He did not look yeah. like himself. He looked shaky from round one. You know what right. I mean? Right. Oh, for sure. From round one. So there was definitely something. And for you to deny that, we already understand where that comes from. But I'm just calling a, a spade a spade. You know what I mean? So we got evidence. We got replay. We have the internet. You know what I'm saying? So they're playing it back. And we just calling it just how we see it. Right. I mean, even laugh aloud, cheated. Come on now, people should just accept the fact that he got bombed out. Gloves were checked before and after. Come on, you can't do it nowadays. A boxing, po- and I wouldn't say impossible. I would not say impossible. I mean, there is always the thing about it is, uh, Christopher. I wasn't there, but you weren't there either. We don't know the facts. We don't know all the facts. We can speculate. Um, the the fact of what we can make objective is that uh, his gloves were flapping. His gloves <laughs> was outside of his glove. I'm not saying I think that there were any, any uh, loaded, the gloves were loaded, but ultimately I think he was doing some Irish bare knuckle boxing inside of a professional boxing ring. And just to be real, a lot of those shots was not even clean. You know what I mean? It wasn't clean, so especially the knockout. I think that the first knockouts, it was behind the head. It was behind the ear. You know what I mean? And then he, we thought we, he busted his drum, but he didn't. He got scratched. So, you know what I mean? And then when you look at the other ones, he like tripped over his foot. It wasn't really, you know, 
And the fact that, like I said, my biggest thing is what Deontay did not look like himself. That was the first right. thing I said before the match even started. I'm like, he looks crazy. He looks I weird. I mean, even... So even Deontay, uh, I th- I think typically like the you know public is so critical. I think he only had one opportunity to kind of bitch and complain, and he he used it on his outfit, his uniform, um, and I think that that's what makes everybody go crazy because now he's coming back out and talking about the trainer, the water tainted water. I think he's talking about the uh, the gloves now. Right. So you know, for people not the like I said, man, listen. I can watch the fight. I rewatched the fight for you not to say, look, it looked like something was definitely going on right. there. Well, yeah. and th- Go ahead. I'm sorry. The, tra- the trainers and the, and the commission, they sign off on the gloves. But I think Fury is just that skilled of a of a of a cheater, uh, of a cheater, <laughs> of a cheater to be able to slip his gloves out of it. Like, have you heard of people slipping their hands out of handcuffs? Mm, that's a fact. That's a fact. Like, so if you are a professional cheater, like, did you see the tape about the sparring partner? That's his, a fact. He, you know, they were, he was pushing the gloves. He could touch his thumb on the other end of the glove. But the sparring partner's glove, the set of gloves, it was thick. <laughs> yeah, man. So Fishy. Fishy for sure. Yeah. So, you know, it seems like Fury's not contractually obligated now right. to give Deontay a fight. You know what I mean? Um... So, you know, we will see. But um, do all the signs, you know, someone said, if it looked like a duck, walk like a duck, that motherfucker's a duck. You know what I mean? <laughs> so that joint was quack, quack, quacking all over the place in, in my yeah. mind. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, um, yeah, that's kind of what I had to say about that. So, you know, I was interested to see how a, a, a third fight will go. You know, I, I thought that um, I picked Deontay in that just because I believe that in the first fight, a lot of the punches that Fury was slipping because Deontay just wanted to land that right so bad, and he finally did. Now, and shout out to Fury. Now, regardless if it was a twelve count or million count, the fact that that man got up, yeah, I was like, and Deontay, like he yeah. seen a ghost. He was like, yeah. "Hey, yo, he did that." Yeah. You know what I mean? So um, it, it's not coming from a place of hate when we're, when we're talking about this. Uh, this is it's coming from a serious place because cheating and boxing is is the lowest of low. Yeah, so um yeah man that that's that's how I thought about it. You know, uh it's hard it's hard for me because outside of the cheating scandal, like I, I like Fury. But if he's a yeah, cheater, I'm, if he's a cheater, yeah we, 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 there's no it, reason for that. Whole, yeah, perception of uh, Fury. And, yeah. and that, I read that's why I call Fury to win. His style, the Gypsy King's style, uh was superior to, to uh Deontay. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, anything so, is possible. And then once again, like I said, it's not about like you said, we're not being biased. Jared just said that he picked Deontay to, I mean, not Deontay, Fury to win the second fight. So mm-hmm. he just called a spade a spade. The evidence came out. There's such thing as cameras. Um, it's not yep. the first time that Tyson did that. If you guys remember, there's this footage going around from another fight where they actually, the ref yes. touched it and was like, so where there's no. He's smoke, been before. There we go. And I, and, forget, and I forget how long it was, but it was a long time. He got suspended. Yeah, a- absolutely. So, um, you know, but. It looked like, you know, and, and like I said, you know, I, I don't know. That's a rock between the hard face if you are Deontay. If you feel like all these things was happening, like you said, he kind of rushed to say what he said. But even in the ring, he was like, the, the, you know, the, there's a lot of things that, that happened that was going on. You know what I mean? Right. Um, You know, I don't know. Like I, I feel both ways about Mark Breland stopping the fight because it looked live. It looked bad. It looked bad. You know what I mean? The fight looked bad live. It looked like, you know that Fury was really in there going through. But then when you rewatch it again, you see Deontay wasn't looking right, but somehow he still had his faculties. He still had, you know what I mean? And mm-hmm. I don't know, Jared, how, how do you feel as a fighter if you're saying I'm willing to die on my shield and, you, and, you, and you're having these conversations with these uh, your trainers and their, you know, their job is to protect the fighters as well, but how do you overall feel about a fighter saying you want to go down on your shield and, but then your corner decides against what you guys already uh, said that... I'm determined. Yeah, predetermined. Yeah, it, it's it's hard, man. Uh, you know, it puts a trainer in, in a position. I think Mark Breland made the correct call. You know, Deontay has a family. Thought yeah, he was sleeping for drug and cocaine. Let's I, see. I kind of, I think that's yo 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 Mike that be giving the creakly cracks to do your history. That's what I'm saying. Fury got a, nah. That's a fact. Listen, we won't take that away. When he got up. Like, I ain't even gonna front. When the knockout happened, 
Because I, 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 I thought it was over for Deontay. I thought that Fury, you know, was going to win the decision, you know. And this is for the first fight. But when he caught him with that, then then, then call him. I kinda, I'm, I'm going to mute your mic because when you come on, it definitely is static. When I mute you, I don't hear the static. Uh, so if you want to hop in, you can unmute your mic. But in, in, in the midst, we're going to kind of keep it um, mute. And once again, guys, 10 more minutes to my birthday. So we're going to stay in for 10 more minutes. Appreciate you guys for rocking with me. Um, but Christopher, like, 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 like I was saying, he definitely did. And he came back and he won that round. Let's be real. He, he, he won that round. You know what I mean? Um, so, you know, we'll see. Like you said, we, the only thing we can really do is just call it how we see it. Right. I thought he was since suspended for drugs, cocaine. Right. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking it too, up now. I'm not too familiar with that. We're proud of him in UK to come from. No, ab listen, his story, absolutely. You know what I mean? And and I definitely understand what it feels like to feel like you have a fighter that represents, you know, you and, and, and where you come from and, and everything else. But at the same time, like I said, I got I got gloves right here. You know what I mean? And what we were seeing with our own eyes. And, and, and if you go back, Chris, and, and you're watching that footage and you can't see gloves flapping and you can't see, uh, you know, the padding is missing and stuff out of it, then it's going to be really hard to have a conversation with you, anything else after that, because you can't right. even just admit what your eyes are saying. Like, you're looking at right. the truth, and you're saying, no, that's not real. So it's kind of hard to even, you know, have right. a real honest discussion about it if you can't even acknowledge the fact that there was some funny money business going on with his gloves. For sure. You know, I, I, I the, the, the information I saw, the information, I even thought Fury... Fury, I, I called uh, Fury winning that fight, that first fight, and then I even called it that Fury would come back on the second fight and uh, destroy Wilder. Uh, mm. I was content with the decision after Fury won, but then my right. mind tells me if I see something fishy and I investigate and I look into it, yeah, That's everything, right. you know, everything is not as as. Uh, as concrete as we think it is. Yeah, and, and that's so there's no it. hurt, no hate against Fury. It's, it's I need to know facts. I like I like I like to see correctness. Yes, sir. Chris, yes, sir. Christopher, it's all love, bro. Subscribe to the channel, man. We, we're not those type of people just because you have a difference of opinion with us. You know, we're gonna talk bad about you about you know. What I mean, it, it is what it is. Not everybody gonna have the same opinion. Not everybody gonna For see sure. life the same way. So you know, we, we're just about just, just just talking us talking sports. Like I said, this this brings us all together. Think about it, guys. Everywhere, everybody here from all different types of countries, and we're all sitting here, you know, and able to have these type of conversations. So I'm gonna just join this process. It's my birthday night. We're gonna keep it light. We're gonna keep it easy. We're gonna keep it fun. And I appreciate you guys for bringing in my birthday with. Me, man we got what seven more minutes it's 11 53 p.m est here at 12 o'clock you know what i mean be officially my birthday 11 8 and uh appreciate you guys a king was born i'm back i watched that again very disappointing devin i'm glad i didn't have to pay to watch that be back <laughs> if I, hey racks on racks appreciate you my brother appreciate you my brother christopher appreciate you my brother appreciate you my brother no hate you think he took the padding out by some miracle? Listen, I don't know what it is, but um, Yo, my I'm man. Yo, I'm saying the padding was taken out. I'm saying he slipped his hand down and where the padding, you know, where the padding wasn't, uh, right in the wrist part of the of the glove and was turning his punch right here. We, and we, as this side flapped. That's what I was, I was seeing after I rewatched it. A lot of flappy, and like I said, I got some gloves here. Got a lot of flappy flappy business that was happening and once again if you're watching that and you're and you're like like no i i don't see i i've seen some so-called reputable trainers and people literally like i i didn't see nothing like what, what, <laughs> what i know what like you know what i mean and i'm just not that yeah. type of person like i can't look at the truth and sit there and say yeah. well no i don't see nothing you know what i mean right 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 you gotta investigate vlad said fury was a cheater too yeah man listen <laughs> and that's, that's my thing i hope fury even though like we already gave what we felt like. We felt like he was a cheater, but I like Fury, so I don't want him to be a cheater. Cause once and that's are, the thing about it. I hope I'm wrong. Right. I hope I'm wrong. Right. We like Fury, you know, but a cheater is a cheater, you know. And from what it looked like, both fight. And then he did it one fight, and then he has a history. There's other fights. It, it's just it. Listen, sometimes guys, I know it's hard. It just happens, man. Nobody's perfect. You know what I mean? Nobody knows what people are thinking in the dark. Nobody's right. knows what people are saying behind the scenes. You know, right. we, 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 we really don't know. You know what I mean? So, listen, Chris, I agree. If he was, he, 
If he was, he should have just put out one press release, like how he's doing. I agree. You know, what I mean, the suit right. that this it makes it look very funny money. Yeah, it doesn't mean that these things aren't valid because he chose a bad way to put it out. You know what I'm saying? Because right. and my whole right. thing is, what's the statute of limitations on you? Feel like I, you fucking cheated me? What's the statute of limitations <laughs> on it? Right, there is none. <laughs> oh, you guys already know. You know, we don't we we don't have that room for error. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. We don't have that room for error. Yeah. We do not have that room. For yeah, everything. imagine if yeah, if Deontay Wilder cheated. The, the, you yeah. know, this thing, this everybody would be upset. Everybody would be the same. Deontay Wilder would kill Fury. We'll see, man. I, I I still think that Deontay is one of the most dangerous fighters in the game because the fact that you can fight the perfect fight. Yeah, they'd be real mad if Deontay did it. You can fight the perfect mm -hmm. fight, the perfect fight, and if he just clips, you don't have to clip you clean. It's a wrap. So that's why I feel like Fury game plan was 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 amazing for the second fight because it's like, what do you do at that point? You know what I mean? And Jared's been telling me a lot about that just with certain punches and block. Like, you can meet them where they are. And I think that's how Fury was like, well, it's only one way to be a bully. You got to out-bully the bully. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Makes it, makes it hard to believe Wilder because he first blamed it on the suit. No, no, no. I agree. Yeah. I agree. Yeah, we I agree. agree. We agree. I yep. agree, but once again, yep. he, he put himself in that hole. Before he said anything, I was looking at the footage, and I had already had my mind kind of made up. Before he, you know what I mean. So, regardless if he had a bad way of bringing it out to the public, it doesn't change mm -hmm. the fact that there is what Jared said: fishy, fishy, fishy behavior in both fights. And we'll say everything allegedly, because we ain't yeah. trying to get sued. Yeah, right. So yeah, allegedly. Yeah, but so fishy behavior in the fight, and then his fishy history. Come on, guys. Wilder's old and finished. Find someone else to fangirl. Oh, definitely not fangirling over, over Wilder. <laughs> definitely not. Definitely not. If you guys can't. Situation. Yeah, if you can't hear the objectivity yeah. in, in what we're saying, you know what I mean? Yeah. Wilder did not say that about his suit. The media lied. He didn't say he wasn't mm. in on no interview. So Fury, Fury just found out he can walk down, walk down a man. Waiting, waiting for Fury, Josh. Yeah, I mean, I want to see that too. I want right. to see that too. Uh, I, right. I have Fury over Joshua. I just don't, you know. But once again, like I said, this is all predicated if Fury's not a cheater. Fury's a cheater. Yeah, then it's, they don't we don't talk. Yeah. Picture. It changes the game. Yeah, it changes the entire game. I hear you, Chris, but you cannot put nothing past the people that is high up in the boxing world. And come on, mm. man, that's a super fact. Mm. They can corrupt the government. Mm. You think they can't corrupt boxing? Yo. I got I got uh I got stopped in my last fight before I retired in in January 2016. Um, I was fighting a Russian guy and I got called back for my drug test and I only assumed that he got called back. I found out later after my uh, coach was in the locker room, uh, I'm sorry, in the bathroom, that he drank a foggy substance, threw it threw the bottle away. He walked first of all, he went to the bathroom unsupervised. After you get your wristband on everything, you have to be supervised going anywhere you go. He was unsupervised, went to the bathroom. My coach happened to be in there, see, saw him draw, drink a foggy wa uh, substance in a water bottle. He threw it, up, threw it out. Coach came running back to me, told the commissioner. Commissioner said, what do you want me to do about it? Mm. My coach said, I don't want you to do. Uh, what I want you to do about it is your job. When this happens, that's what I want you to do. So the commissioner said, you're right. He went up to the other locker room and said, hey, you just got peeped out. You know, we're leaving it in my hands to call, see if I want to fight him or not. I said, yes, of course. I'm training six to eight weeks. The fight happened. He stopped me in the third round. Uh, I told the promotion company I wanted them to make sure that he took his uh, drug test the next day. He was on the flight. Now he was on the plane back to New York. No drug, te no drug test was taken. Wow. It was wow. a Friday night fight. He gets back. He, he's supposed to take his drug test on Monday in New York, sends it back to Arizona. The commission accepts it. And that was my way out of boxing. Listen, guys, if any sport that got money in it, there's any, forget sport, business. It's not a sport. Business. Boxing is not yeah. a sport. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's a business. Any business that has money in it, whether it's the government, whether it's boxing, whether it's your local YMCA, there is some corruption sneaking around somewhere. Hey, we appreciate you, man. First time spending hours. Bro. Appreciate you for rocking with us, man. You guys made my birthday night uh, extremely special. We have how many more minutes? One more minute. One minute. For the birthday boy. In, one more minute. You know what I mean? <laughs> Happy birthday, Trava. Appreciate you.
I still stand behind the Nevada Commission, the trainers, everyone who was there. Listen, we understand it, man. Everybody oh, yeah, got it. No, we understand that the commission probably did their job. We're just thinking if if uh, Fury's a, a cheater, he found a way to get around it. We think about King Kong's winning um, Ortiz. Is, is that official? Ortiz versus Ruiz? Everyone, that's not the first time someone asked us about that. Um, I take Big Poppy over Ruiz. Um, yeah. You know, bigger. I think hit harder. I think that. Twelve uh, o'clock, bro. Happy birthday. Hey, appreciate yeah. it. Happy birthday, Drake. Happy birthday, bro. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate everybody. He said, "Who won? Uh, Haney won by decision. Haney won by decision. So I grabbed the water bottle and had it tested. Right though. Right though. I mean, I think in the middle of that though, it's just like you know, just like." And Jared being in your position and seeing all stuff going down, like you said, I done trained all these weeks to fight. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so that's mm -hmm. the, Hey, I appreciate you, my brother. I appreciate you. 35 years on this on this planet, man. 35 years. And I appreciate all 35. And they all help grow, you know what I mean, and, and, and to allow me to be the person who I'm with. You know, I'm sharing it with, you know, my, my family, my thrivers. We call ourselves thrivers because we all about thriving, but we understand we have to thrive mind, body, and spirit. We understand we have to be loyal to our craft. We understand that we have to be sometimes quiet when it comes to get money. And we understand sometimes we got to have a mean <laughs> kick habit. We got to have a mean kick habit. So <laughs> we got everybody on here that represents they, they, they brand. We all have brands. We all build brands. We're all creators on, on there. We all have our own um companies you know what i mean we're all entrepreneurs so even on this channel this is not a boxing channel guys this, this channel we talk about sports we talk about entrepreneurship we talk about digital hustling because the digital economy is the new economy when it comes to every everyone who's on this call can participate if you have access to the stream I mean, you have access to the internet if you have access to the internet I mean, you have access to capital content is currency in this new digital age we have cryptocurrency that's going to merge even all the companies i mean all the uh international world together so there's no more well this person has a peso this person has usd this person has a ruby it's going to be we're going to be able to exchange with each other all using the same currency so we're all going to be one big giant world so on our other show art of the digital hustle which we'll bring up some of the prom promo for that so you guys can see we talk about a lot of stuff here on this channel and here we go once again, we talk about creating passive income. We talk about creating recurring income. We talk about a lot of stuff here on this channel. Oh, no. I got a mean echo. Rob, echoing. You ain't got no headphones, brother. <laughs> um, so once again, um, I also teach the art of the digital hustle. So show you how to build your brands. We show you how to design t-shirts from scratch. We show you how to build websites, all that. So those trainers are already up in my channel. Go take a peep at them. And we're just here, guys. I appreciate you. 35 years on this planet. I'm so appreciative. I'm so happy to be alive. I'm so happy to be here with you guys. And, you know, I can't wait to see what this next year has in store for us. So, any last points? Let's see. I'm going to talk to the peoples. Happy birthday. Great channel. Thanks. Appreciate you. Big love to you, Chris. Shout out to Christopher. Thank you, Chris. From the UK. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe. Wilder up in the champagne room talking for that cheddar. <laughs> ah, let's say the blood on the glove of McLean, which was been tested positive for illegal substances. Mm. We got people who like some boxing up in here, man. We like y'all. Sure. Oh, we hope y'all like making money too, cause we got we, when we get on those lives, we gotta see y'all come on with that. For sure. Great channel. Thanks. Happy birthday. Thank you. Yes, sir. So listen, guys, I, this is this is one of my uh, best birthdays ever, ever. You know what I mean? We got to do what I love to do, which is boxing and talking. And any one of you guys know me in person, you guys know I love talking. You know what I mean? He said, Jerry Robinson look like Kyrie. Ha! <laughs> Kyrie with the handles. <laughs> Listen, we got basketball stuff in here too. Look, look, we ain't just doing. We got, we got a little bit but of handle. I'm conditioning myself to understand that everything that I do now is the battle between me and me. There is no outside opponent. It's only myself. So everything that I'm, everything that I now that I feel like I've defeated myself. You know what I mean? So yeah, he's still there, but he's weak. I starved him. And beat him down. You know, this is why I take cold showers. Cause I let them like, yo, I'm not playing. What I want to do is what I want to do. 
because I'm going to torture you until you give up. <laughs> I'm talking to my, my, my procrastination. I'm talking to my fears. I'm talking to my sense of lack. You know what I mean? I'm talking to my lack of self-worth, my low self-esteem. Like, I'm going to punish you until you give up. Yes, sir. Yeah. You got, listen, play no games with yourself. Be loyal to yourself. Be loyal to your craft. There's nothing outside of you but you. You're your own greatest enemy and you're your own greatest victor. So you guys just choose a side. You got to stay loyal to that in every day. So that type of content that we're going to be having on this channel is not just one way. Um, in this world that we live in, guys, you don't understand. You can get paid just for being yourself. Just for posting and talking about stuff that you like. And every song that you guys have, I'm not talking about physically singing. Singing like as far as wh whoever you are, there will be an audience that is there to listen. There will be an audience that's there to support. And let me tell you, there will also be an audience that's there to hate. So build that tough skin now. Like when you see, we got the haters on the channel. And we talk about them, highlight them, send them in timeouts, smack they butt like daddy do, and keep them moving. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So appreciate you guys. I'm going to check the comments. Uh, don't know what that mean. My son loves his basketball. Listen, we are huge basketball heads. You guys don't have no idea. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the famous Rucker Park Street Ball in Harlem, USA. Basketball. But that is also something that we are a part of. Huge basketball fans. Absolutely. And I got to keep muting you because I hear my echo every time you get on. <laughs> Where your headphone, brother? All right, Haney being in the house. All right, guys, well, listen, happy solar return. Appreciate you, Thriver. OG Thriver. Shout out to Kayeen Thriver. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the famous Rucker. All right. I just, all right, guys, so listen. I appreciate y'all. Um, Family, y'all can stay on because I'm about to end the live, but we'll still be on so we can chop it up a little bit behind the scenes. But you guys stay tuned. Um, The next training, it will be tomorrow. If you guys are looking to make money online, you guys are looking to get your digital hustle on, if you guys are looking to take your finances to the next level and learn how to use digital strategies and digital skill sets, I've been doing this for 15 years. I've been making my money online now for 15 years. I've been successfully able to show a lot of people how to do it. Everybody on this call are online digital entrepreneurs because this is a trillion dollar economy, guys. And listen, if you don't find a way to make money while you sleep, you will work till you die. So if you're always looking for a job or the government or somewhere to give you money or to hand you out money, you will work until you die let's use this internet we all understand e-commerce because we all buy stuff online and that's the new wave so if you guys want to get on that e-commerce and that online marketing training hop on that tomorrow click the like and click subscribe you'll get the notification when i go live for that and i appreciate all of you guys like subscribe share and we'll see you on the next one i'll let everybody say they peace i'm rod thriving because i'm all about thriving and i'm out and i'll pass it over to this window uh let him know what you said about Jared. Go ahead. Oh, yeah, what's going on? So, yeah, that was a bomb uh, live. Jared Robinson, 20 Pro Fights, Loyal to My Craft, Sacred Boxing, coming soon. Thank you, Chris. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit like that. Yeah, my shit is lagging. <laughs> my shit is lagging, bro. But it's Rob Icon Thriver. Find me on Rob Icon Thriver on Instagram, Facebook. Cut to the commercials. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Boy, we're all thriving in the building, Red Moon of Power Shoot, you know what I'm saying? Manifesting something beautiful all the time. Thriver Boys in the building. You already know, Dog Child Academy, we yeah. are. What we do out here, it's red with the power out here. It's different things. <laughs>